Welcome everybody! Woohoo! Wow, what a week! What a week! This time last week, actually, this time last week, uh, we were kind of finishing off uh, at Bricktastic. Uh, what a weekend that was, folks! Honestly, uh, I've done some stuff in Lego before. Believe me, uh, I really have. But that was one of the best. Well, that was the best weekend I've ever had to do with Lego. It was. It was absolutely at the stratosphere it really was it was so so good and all i'm going to turn around and just say to you lovely lot out there is if you get a chance to go next year do it and everybody who did go this year that went for say one day they all wish they'd went for two days it was that good folks honestly uh but you know what i i i was doing so many different things when i was at bricktastic um some really cool opportunities came my way. Uh, I was vlogging. The vlog will be out tomorrow at 5 p.m., folks. Um, I've got a little bit more editing to do on that, the, the Lego haul side of it, the, the last bit. I think next I think next year what I'm going to do is if I buy anything there, I'm just going to do it there and then. Uh, it kind of gets it out of the way. I've got to go over to set up in, up in the studio. Well, which was kind of cool. Nice to be up there. I was using a new camera over this weekend as well. So that was kind of cool to do that. And it was just very different, uh, of course. And we was amongst the family of Lego people there. It was utterly brilliant. It really was. And uh, and and I've got to be honest. Like I've today is the first day I've kind of felt like oh, I feel I feel quite normal again, because there is seriously a lack of sleep when you go to these things. Because one, you don't really want to even go to sleep, and secondly. It's just it's just full on 100% Lego, Lego peeps, Lego mocks, Lego sets, Lego stores, Lego explorer discovery centers, you name it, it's there. Even people from Lego. And of course, we're going to have some people on, I say people, I'm going to have uh, Stuart Harris on from uh, Lego a little bit later, we'll be here in about ooh, 25 minutes or so. And um, we're going to be talking about the new exclusive uh, that was just announced yesterday kind of last evening really it was here uk time uh we're gonna be looking at that the fifth installment of that of course we're gonna be kind of unpacking loads about bricktastic last week as well uh honestly and every time i think about it i just smile because it was that good it really was uh we're gonna be talking about the new march lego sets as well we'll have a look at some of those um maybe discuss a little bit about what we got uh and of course today we've got brand new sets announced as well we've got this really Oh, how can I put it? Well, it's just really nice, actually. It's just gorgeous. This uh, this uh, Moon Mars Rover set that's come out for Lego Friends. I think it, I, I just like it. It's just so, something very quintessentially sci-fi about it. So that's quite cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, of course, we're going to be chatting with Stuart uh, Harris, like I said. And there's a survey going. Now, the survey, the survey is just a very simple one. Just basically ask the you lovely lot out there, did you buy any Lego today? Uh, Topic Bricks is out there. I know he certainly did. Uh, I bought one or two things as well, some of which are going to arrive tomorrow, which is kind of cool. Um, it's March the 1st. Did you buy any Lego today? Yes, 46%. 21% says thinking about it. Of course, in a lot of places, folks, it's only in the morning. Uh, nope. Uh, saving pennies 35%, which is totally cool as well. There's no right or wrong answer here, folks. I'm just intrigued to know, did anyone go out there and just blow their money? I know Leicester Square was doing really well today, folks. So they were taking in, uh, uh, according to my friends uh, there, they were saying it was like Christmas Day there. It was absolutely uh, amazing. It really was. Uh, what other things we've got on the go? We're gonna, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit later a few bits and pieces that I picked up uh, whilst we were there too. And I think we will, hmm, what we else will we do? I'm gonna, I was going to do a giveaway tonight, but I'm going to do the giveaway next week, actually. So members giveaway uh, will be next week, folks. And don't forget, if you do want to support the channel as a member, you can. Otherwise, there's always Super Chats. There we go. There's the London Wall over there looking uh, looking pretty healthy, actually, as it happens. Uh, and I always give people a, a, a big thank you as well over on Instagram if anyone wants to, too. Uh, tonight's PMQ uh, is being brought to us by One Brick Stud as well. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later. It's a really cool question, actually, and one that depends how you want to approach it as to how you how you actually answer it but also as well you guys and girls out there uh can take part in it as well it's what it's all about it really is the lbb family ah oh, macro bricks he's just given us five 
uh canadian dollars Ooh, it was a quick little jump there uh he says yes please uh macro bricks five dollars thank you so much my friend uh guys and girls out there i super appreciate it i really do uh you guys are the best being at bricktastic like this time last week it just reinforced all of that love that i feel for the a4 community it really does macro this is for you Thank you, dear sir. I super appreciate that. I really, really do. Uh, we got uh, Frankie CC. Let's say hello to a few you lovely lot out there. There's 51 of you out there at the moment. Do me a little favor. Give us a thumbs up while you're there, while you're down there hitting that thumbs up. Do us a little favor as well. Check out everybody who's in the panel tonight. Uh, you find all the details down in the description. You know how it goes. <laughs> you really do. Uh, also as well, um, Macro's giving away five gifts uh dude that's so kind of you honestly uh wow honestly i uh, love it uh loving all the love thank you so much macro uh gary's out there uh hello there all the way from ireland good to see you gary hope all is good with you jake's out there as well he's gonna be on the panel tonight we've got emily sykes out there as well hello everyone she's saying emily welcome to the lbv family great to have you here uh good evening out there this is uh, brick stage pass lovely to catch up with him last week too many big nicks out there as well say they did all uh we've got stubot out there stubot how did i not see you over the weekend every time i came over uh to you um obviously i was, I was looking at your fabulous atat but I couldn't find you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we got the Brit Larrikin out there saying, good evening, Greg. Good morning to you, my friend. The two gay foals out there as well. Dad say, yay. And lots of pandas too, which I love. Uh, one Brick Studs out there says, K-K-K-O. Hey, K-O. That's a strange one to roll off the tongue, isn't it? Andrew's out there too. Good to see you, Andrew. Loving the Lambo. I really am. Uh, who else we got out there as well? I mean, if you, who's going to be in in a minute? We've got uh, Lego Team B. Hello, Lego Team B. Hope you've had a nice week. I hope everyone's had a nice week, actually. Uh, today is the first day I actually felt normal. Like, I feel revitalized again. Uh, next year, I'm definitely going to take a bit more time off after the event, I tell you. Answer the phone, says Sayo Connor. We're in, of course, to the intro. Dave's out there, too. Dave, got a new... Uh, uh, does it come around? I'm sure your magazine comes out every three weeks, not every month. But anyway, looking forward to reading this month's Blocks magazine. Trevor's videos out there as well. Trevor, good to see you, mate. I was watching back some of the live stream from last week, the, the mini live tour that I did at Bricktastic. My God, that was funny. Uh, your son, Tom, he was an absolute star on it as well. We've got Topic Bricks out there. Say, hello. Uh, good to see you, dude. It was fun seeing you last week, as well as, of course, Andy, aka Polar Bricks, too. It was just really, really good fun. Uh, who else we got out there, too? Ooh, let's scroll down, let's scroll down. There's KO. He said, uh, happy LC episode 213. He's been a member for over two years that's pretty good going isn't it uh emily's asking how is everyone all the better for you being here emily and liz is out there too uh liz good to see you. hope you've enjoyed all the skiing oh my god your photos are absolutely amazing they really are uh i'm looking forward to um uh, seeing you next week as well. It's going to be good fun. Uh, Macro, there you are. There's your $5. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, where are we going from here? Where are we going? Simon's out there. I bet Simon uh, had a good little giggle with him too. That was nice to see him. Uh, like I say, Macro has gifted five London Bridge Bricks memberships. Dude, that is really, really generous. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Axel Plate is out there. Good Arvin. London calling. Uh, good to see you, dude. I uh, hope you've had a good week over there. The weather's not too bad. Blimey, it's really up and down here. I tell you, it was actually quite nice in Manchester. Um, but my God, it's raining so hard. It really is. See, really raining hard. Oh, it's really sunny. It's quite bizarre. Don't know if I'm coming or going sometimes. Good to see you, TJ. Uh, who else we got out there as well? Scotty's out there as well. Scotty, what amazing to see you. You should have seen it, folks. Seven o'clock on a Sunday morning having breakfast in McDonald's all together. It was quite, quite surreal. Chris Morgan's out there as well. So, hello. Good to see you, Chris. Uh, hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, Stubot says, um, uh, ships that pass in the night next year. Definitely, mate. Definitely. I wanted to, I so wanted to have a chat with you as well. But uh, honestly, I must come over, I must come over five times. Uh, I didn't see you. But anyway, like you say, next year, we'll make a, we'll make, I'll make a beeline for you next year. And this course going to be at Reading. I'm going to go to Reading in a couple of weeks and I'm off to Turkey uh, not too long from now. And then uh, literally the day I get back from Turkey, I'll just be packing up a few bits and I'll be going to Swindon turkey swindon that's bizarre to do that in 24 hours isn't it anyway it will be happening folks uh scotty's saying uh they're the minifig who yeah 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 back late 
and safe creek to meet you yeah i don't know i heard you, you, you your journey wasn't too sad so that's pretty good to hear mate uh he says yeah just windy here at the moment but i don't mind rain uh i just take out my raincoat and get on my bike very good it's a nice positive way of looking at it now talking to nice positive ways of things Let's start getting some peeps on, shall we? Great to have you all here, folks. Uh, where should we go next? I'm going to go to a place uh, I like to call Galileo. Some people might call it Gallifrey. It begins with G, what can I say? As well as this guy's name is, of course, our good friend, Gaza, a.k.a. the minifig who. <laughs> Gaza, Hello. How are you doing? Hey, all right? <laughs> very good thank you very good and i yeah. tell you what i i just remembered i just remembered that we were going to go to someone else to start off with wasn't we i was very surprised you're lucky i just finished my drink actually <laughs> I, was be like, oh, wow. I know I, I i do like keeping people on their toes i really do so. oh well yeah <laughs> go to him it's, next it's like a ballet dancer at the minute i'm on my toes that much it's like i think what? we should go i think <laughs> we should go to him next though i can't actually see what he's going on because all i can see is the mic but should we go there anyway yeah yeah let's go It'd be a surprise for everyone else, but yeah. It, it will be a surprise for everyone else. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, we're going to go to a place now somewhere around London. Uh, I'd call this guy Mike. But of course, we all know him as Jake. He's, of course, Jake Studs. Hello, Jake Studs. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello. There he is. <laughs> it's me. Oh, my nan used to have one of those tables back in the day. She had it in a really? Yeah, yeah. Nan took the IKEA, did she? It's space saving, isn't it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. good. It's good. So, are you actually standing at your desk? Is it a stand-up desk, or you just got very short legs? There you go. I oh, have yeah. legs. Sorry, I saw a toe. Then was that? Was you doing some ready, sort of ready, kick? Ready, ready, ready. That's called a hamstring. There you go. There you go. Stay in there. You should play football, mate. You look like you're doing a Diego. Uh, I was going to say Diego Maradona, but we were quite wrong. I was thinking more Di Canio, Paolo Di Canio. If you <laughs> like know Gaz, the I'm, folks. I'm a ballerina, just like Gaz. That's what yeah. I am. Are you really? yeah. Yeah, ballerina? Oh, yeah. He was like a ballerina last uh, last Saturday. I'd say that for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, how are you doing? Are you recovered? Yeah, thank you. Uh, just about, yeah. <laughs> My voice is just about recovered. I think it reached reached uh, reached uh, back to normal. I think like Thursday evening. <laughs> Really? Oh, dear. <laughs> honestly. I, well, I tell you, someone who totally lost their voice was, of course, uh, <laughs> Gaz. Oh, my God. He just he didn't have a voice on uh, on Friday no. night, let alone well, Friday morning, let alone... Not a seasoned uh, veteran like me, you know. Well, no. no. Uh, <laughs> this, is it. this is it. This is it. Uh, I tell you what we have got out there. We've got, we've got some vets out there as well, especially after this one. Uh, not that Sam Smith. Uh, Sam, did you get home okay? Uh, because your, your journey up was horrific. It really was. Uh, anyway, let us know oh, how you yeah, got on. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Last week seemed like a month ago. It was like it was so weird. <laughs> uh, it's like so full on. It is, but yeah. uh, we, but we love it. it was, we really do. Well, Echo okay. Bricks is out there. We met, we met Steve as well. I think he. I yeah. know. I think he was generally shocked how good it was. Uh, Steve, let us know what you think about it as well in the chat. Um, I think he the. the the togetherness uh, was just so on. It really, really was. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I, I, I would suggest getting Carrie or Ian on next, but th there's nothing even there at the moment. It's just a, a chair. <laughs> I think with, we should uh, go there anyway. I, mean, yeah. I think we should go there anyway. Yeah. I, think we should. Yeah. We, I mean, I mean, go down Southampton. Voice, but you reckon we should go to Southampton yeah. first? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we'll come on. I'm getting bullied let's here do into, into just doing <laughs> it. Do it, Greg. Right, do, right, it. Bring, yeah. do it. Do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Who do you think you are? Emperor Palpatine? Oh, uh, so the uh, chaos like, energy of last week's London calling. It's like a younger version of it, really. It's like some messed up clone. Uh, how you doing, Laura? Good to see you too. Uh, all right, folks, let's bring it on, shall we? They're not there. Uh, but anyway, they are, of course, <laughs> uh, the dynamic duo. And uh, frankly, you should have seen them last week. And boy, can they eat a hot dog or two. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. let's bring it on, shall we? It is, of course, <laughs> the <What's> quote. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Well, there they are. Anyway, should we have a look? That's the most dynamic I think I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can hear, I can hear Carrie. Can we? Can everyone hear Carrie? Yeah, yeah. she's on her way. She's, she's running. She's running. Yeah. You look like you just woke up. Um, I was just um, playing with my kids, and uh, Ian left the thing on. Um, sorry about that. Okay, that's all right. No, was, uh, we, we couldn't hear anything anyway, other than your <laughs> heavy breathing issues walking closer to the mic. I was like, Whoa, what's going on here? Although uh, we did hear what you said about Greg. Like, it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll just address it afterwards. 
Oh, let's bring her back on, shall we? You booted them. <laughs> 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 I got booted her off by accident. Oh, no. uh, you thought you... last week was chaotic and Greg wasn't even on it. He's on it this week. He's just kicking everyone <laughs> off. I know. I see. Well, I was just, how, how's your legs this week after last week, anyway? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm not talking about your legs. I was talking about oh. Jake's legs. I, I think I squashed them about three times. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you sat like literally <laughs> on him. <laughs> They're working. They're fully functional. Oh, he doesn't need no physio. I don't know what you, I don't know what all the fuss was about. I really don't. Uh we've got Deppy Shipwrecks out there as well. Hello, mate. I mean, I've not seen you in ages. How are you doing? Hope all is good with you. Uh the scroll down to the end there. He's out there. Macro's out there. He's saying uh, Echo Bricks, cheers, Minific Who, great day to you. Little old lady, Carrie. He's his case. He's just got called a little old lady. Uh, uh too much fun. System <laughs> overload. It is, honestly, it was so good. Uh, Echo oh, yeah. saying, hey there, Macro. And um, <laughs> Steve, a.k.a. Echo Bricks, he said, it was so good. Uh, I'm, I'm camping out for, ne for next year. Yeah, dude, <laughs> honestly, it was really good. It might be about six weeks before we can book the hotels again, but pff, I'm booking it. And I'm definitely taking more time off afterwards. I was like, I, I, like I was just saying earlier on, Carrie, today is my recovery. Today I feel, yes, I'm back. Uh, but how, how, have you, how have you recovered this week? You done all right? Yeah, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are a bit of a uh, an issue, but I've now I'm okay. Actually, okay, you're right. You're at this part of Friday, yeah. Okay. All right. It was hard work. Anyway, this uh, <laughs> talk of hard work. Uh, let's get one of our compatriots on, shall we? Uh, he's he's a, he, he's beautiful. We spent the whole weekend with him. Uh, some a little bit closer than others, I might add. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, Chris is. I wonder if he snores. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out a little bit later. Is of course our good friend from Reading. It is Minark. Hello, mate. Hello, hello. How are you doing, mate? How are we all? You look no. well. You see, every time I see him, he you. seems to get younger and younger. <laughs> no, I won't tell you my secret because it's mine. <laughs> what no, a chat up line at the beginning of the show there. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What can I say? It's, it's all in the moisturizer, Jake. Uh, it really is. <laughs> uh, you got good stuff. Not, not, not cheap stuff. You got good stuff. Like at least a good Nivea, anyway, or maybe a number five. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let me know what moisturizer. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> I, I'm genuinely <laughs> interested. Exactly. Let me know. Everybody who uses uh, men out there use moisturizer. Let me know what you use, especially post shaving. Or anyone stuff. in the moisturizing industry, if you <laughs> want to sponsor London <laughs> calling, why not give us a call? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Moisture calling. If Nivea's Moisture. out there, I'm your man. Oh, I really am. You know, Moisture calling. Because I'm worth it. Uh, what can I say? Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go around and find hashtag. out how people how people are hashtag yet. Yeah. I'm worth it. Uh, I've never done that before. It's good for hiding the chin. I'll give you that. Uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie, uh, good to have you here. It is. Uh, I always wonder what you look like without your hair being combed. Now I know. And, uh, <laughs> wow, that was rude. <laughs> I was just beginning to be a train, and then suddenly I'm on London calling. I I don't know what's happened. It's very <laughs> so uh, it's Carrie, not like you haven't done it before, though. To be fair, come on. yeah, come on, Carrie. You're, you're you know you not, know the score. Straight from the train part, though. Like so we we <laughs> just don't we that yeah. side of the house and then yeah, I yeah. I pretend to be a train, and my daughter comes with me around to this side of the house. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's it's great fun. But today she was the train, so she was dragging me along, and then suddenly I'm here. So, yeah, that was fun. Well, you know, as, <laughs> as they say. Yeah. Yay. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's one of those Twitch uh, props, it is, isn't it? Is, it, is that still Absolutely. a thing? Is it, is it the old Ray Train? Yeah, yeah, we're still the Ray Train. How dare you and say the Ray Train? Of course we might be round right now. It's been going on for years. Come uh, on. I just wondered. Uh, Lego TB says, did we pass the hat around the Bricktastic to get the uh, uh, TMW <laughs> to Chicago? Uh, we need another correspondent on the ground. We'll be there. Don't worry about that. We, we are there. Obviously, already in the planning stages for that, too, as it happens, which is jolly exciting. Uh, they say that was brutal, Greg. What can I say? I'll say what I see. And uh, try and throw some diplomacy dust on it as well, if I can. Uh, but anyway, Ka uh, Carrie, so you did the train thing. Did your kids appreciate it anyway? Yeah, yeah, she found it hilarious. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm the best one. Good stuff. And uh, so... How's your week been? So you you got home you got home really late. I thought you guys were were, were making quite a decent start of it, and then yeah, next thing I know, got a, got a message at two o'clock saying I just got in, and I was like, "What's all that about? What's going <laughs> we on?" We were doing really well. We were um, on target to be home at eleven thirty, mm. which seemed oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, we stopped at eleven for a quick bite to eat, and then we got stuck behind a, a big crash on the A thirty four for oh. two hours. 
same. No way, two hours. No, so, I had a little so, nap, so it was fine. Yeah, I was going to say, hold on, <laughs> Ian doesn't drive, you do, but yeah. somehow you had a two, you had a kip, you had a two hour sleep yeah, on there. We were at a standstill, so I just had a little nap. Oh my gosh! Are you allowed to do that, even though you're at a standstill? I, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be paranoid about falling asleep and on a motorway. I don't know. Just a good, yeah, it was a bit weird. But it was, to see that. It was definitely not intentional. <laughs> it was it's, intentional. Anno- it's annoying though because you passed us twice on the way yeah. home. I didn't even realise. I'm very you sorry. Pa- you passed us like, right, that's the bod to catch him. <laughs> so it was like, overtook you. And Frankie did try and wave, but I don't think you were looking. Uh, and then you overtook us again. I was like, focused. Oh, I'm bothered now. My God, <laughs> Kerry actually outsped you. What well, blimey, Mark, are you, Mark, uh, Gaz, are you quite like a, a careful driver? No, no, I just needed a pee the second time. So I was like, no, I'm turning off now. Anyway, <laughs> <so you> can... <laughs> oh, God. That, I mean, that was more important at the time. <laughs> was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. a wel- a welcomed break. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, and uh, so, so anyway, Gaz, uh, how, how was your journey home then? Other than the uh, the pit stops or the B stops, as you say, uh, how, how was it? Was it okay? Yeah, it was actually quite good. Um, it was a lot quicker getting home than it was getting there as well. Um, so yeah, there was no traffic about really. So no, there wasn't. Sorry, uh, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the way we went, it was none. So. Well, I, I've been on that toll road. Carry. That toll road is phenomenal. That is, I didn't see a car for like an hour. It was brilliant. Uh, it really was. Um, uh, but yeah, how, how about you, Mark? I mean, you you were going home by train. Uh, it was. So how did uh, how, how was your journey home that night? Because you, you just about yeah. made it, didn't you? Because I was just all bit... about made it. Yes. Yeah. So um, I left the venue at. About 10 to 7 and my train was at 25 past 7. So um and I had half my mock in it um that I was packed in, all packed in a suitcase. So I traveled with that across the uh center of Manchester to the train station and, and made it with about six minutes to go. But yeah, train was fine, you know, can't grumble. I got home probably about eleven thirty and just oh, about that time really. really. So yeah, it was really good actually. That's yeah. a really good journey. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's that's. Can't, that's fantastic. I can't complain. It was, it was a stressful getting there, but when I was on the train, it was fine. Yeah, yeah, six minutes to spare. That's good. That is. Yeah. <laughs> I hate waiting at train stations. Six minutes exactly. is exceptionally I've been good. Waiting a long time, mate. There he is. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good, mate. You, you've had worse uh, journeys, that's for sure. Ian's here. Uh, let's say let's say hello to Ian, everybody. Uh, hey. Ian, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm a bit. I don't know if you see. Yeah, he's just been out to get some snacks, so he's covered in. Oh yeah. Room. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. All right. I he was doing that top last week. I remember that. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> really? he, he wore it. I wore it at the dinner last Saturday. I, I remember because he had it. Well, I couldn't even recognise he was. He looked like a green man last week. Uh, <laughs> he was a little bit tired at one point. Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's got more panache than the average carrot. Uh, <laughs> uh, he really has, uh, and not as much panache as Tracy. Oh, oh hello! Tracy. Oh, it's Tracy. It was Tracy. It was Tracy. It was Tracy. Tracy the Tannoy lady. She was amazing. Oh, oh yeah. So it was. was Tracy the yeah, Tannoy yeah, lady. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I go, yeah. she, she how, how much panache do carrots normally have? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ian, Ian, I tell you, he's probably looked it up uh, this week. Hey, uh, Ian, how um, much panache? I, I think it's normally you get about ten carrots the panache, don't you? <laughs> no, you're you're thinking ganache. Oh, can you imagine carrot? I thought they were the same thing. Uh, no, God. I thought it just depending where you come from in the country, uh, depending on how you pronounce it, it was good. Ash was the same thing. Uh, Jake, did, Jake, you came up by train, didn't you? So, did you go home by train? Or did I, you get... I did the, I did half and half. So, uh, I went up to Nottingham via train, and then my friend Connor uh, drove the rest of the way, and then did the same journey backwards. Essentially, got home about. Midnight ish again. That's not really bad. Good. I had to take the yeah. long train. It was really weird as well because it it got into Leicester, then it reversed, and then it sort of went back up north half half of the country to the point where we were almost in Sheffield, and then it went went down again. Right. <laughs> so I don't know what it was doing, but <laughs> that's that's mad. Uh, that, 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 I mean, that is that, that's not bad though, is it? I mean, uh, not that Sam Smith. He had a terrible journey up. He did. He did get there. Uh, there he is out there. Uh, he didn't get there till two half past two Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, buried in mind. So he, he came up north and then the, Birmingham they kicked him out. And 
and then he had to go south to Leicester and then back up again. I think that was kind of like the route you took. Oh, yes. uh, we could see you, Eureka. Eureka's out there and we've got Brick Space Nine out there as well. Good to see you. KO, I spotted him. There he is. He's still out there. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you last week as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. So we all got home okay. But of course, we, we had a pretty big journey, all of us. I mean, we, we, we're all pretty southern, to be honest. <laughs> uh, some more southern than the uh, than uh, than others, of course. The Brick Bods, uh, I mean, on a good journey. How long would that normally take you guys? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? We're, we're trying to clear space. Oh, are you, oh, oh, actually, while you're talking about space, your floor, what would you give it out of five this week, oh. Ian? Uh, we always go have that. Uh, oh, here we go. Shame. You know it's bad when Kerry does that. Blimey, is it? I'm going to say one. One. It's better one. Than one. Yeah. one. Yeah. You, you get one uh, simply because there's a floor there. Uh, okay. Fair enough. No, That's no, she bad. previously got half. So, so oh, it's so. <laughs> okay. All right. Minor improvement, but still uh, room for improvement, I think they'd say. But anyway, I, I, on a good journey, how long would it normally take to get from Southampton up to Manchester? About four hours? Three and a half hours if, if the traffic's Ooh. really good. Okay. All right. It never is. <laughs> It never is, no, it isn't. Uh, and just <laughs> before we get our next guest on, all the way from Billund, might I add, uh, what are you guys eating tonight anyway? What's keeping you going? What's keeping you... Uh, um, so so we've got um, oh, strawberry palavites. Okay, yeah, it's good sponsorship, this is. <laughs> and, and then and I'm drinking some iced tea. Iced tea? What, what's that one with the cherry cola? What's it? What, they run out in the office or something? Offer, so, you know. Oh, it's on. Did you have an haircut between now and last week, or did you have a haircut no, last week? It was before last week. You had that. <laughs> did you not notice at the I weekend? I didn't notice. No, I don't, even then I was thinking it's really hairy. He is honestly, folks. Even we're right there, see, Eric. Eyes like Chewbacca uh, with a bit of skin. It really is on the nose. Ah, but anyway, where should we go next? I tell you where we're going to go. Let's, let's go to Billund, shall we? Let's go to Billund. Um, no, nah, nah, not here. Not for a yeah, Lego no, we're, show. We're, no, we're going to go there, no. Jake. No, no, Jake, we're going to go there. <laughs> we don't talk um, about Lego on this thing. How dare you? This guy's practically made a Lego. He is. And last <laughs> last week, last weekend, I got to uh, kind of meet, greet, interview him four times. I mean, by the end of it, we were, we were practically mates. We really were. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I've never spoken to anyone for so many times over the course of the weekend. Uh, I, I got to learn lots of very cool stuff uh, as well as uh, finding out that this week, as of kind of yesterday, I suppose, uh, that they announced the uh, the fifth iteration of the um, Lego House Limited Edition set. So with us tonight, folks, to talk a little bit about that is our good friend from the, the Lego House, home of the brick, is, of course, Stuart Harris. Hello, mate. Hello. Good evening, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice. oh. Stuart, yeah, you, 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 now considering you're not feeling too hot, uh, you, you actually you, you don't look too bad. You look okay. Uh, how are you doing? It's a, it's, a, it's a nasty case of man flu, and you know how deadly that is. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst <laughs> kind, honestly, <laughs> folks. If you haven't had man flu, uh, well, you're you're lucky. You really are. Uh, I, I was just saying to everybody how they got home last week. Of course, we we, we all we 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 all got to drive around sort of four hours. Uh, of course, you got to fly back to another country. Did, did you actually go Sunday night, or did you go sort of? Uh, we Sunday? we uh, it, it felt like Sunday night. We actually got up at four thirty uh, in Manchester and went to Brussels. Then we went to the Brussels Lego Discovery Centre, and then we flew on to Frankfurt, and then from Frankfurt to Billund, and I got home around one a.m. So it was about eighteen, nineteen hour day. So it was a... <laughs> wow, that, well, that is. <laughs> Yeah, that, wow. is, that is a big one. Uh, so it's uh, what well, start with you then, Stuart. What, what, what did you what did you think of Brick uh, Bricktastic? Uh, oh, awesome! It's really, I mean, it's a great venue for for starters. I mean, when you you go into that space, it's just incredible. It looks really, really cool uh, setting. Uh, the work was great, and of course, lots of familiar faces, which was uh, really nice to see. And um, some some great work, some great mocks. Uh, really, uh, yeah, filled filled my phone up with pictures. So uh, it's good. Of course, knowing so many people there is really, you know, it's, it's quite hard to walk around, isn't it? You're stopping every uh, yeah. every few minutes and then you kind of lose track. Which direction was I coming from? And you can't work out. You've seen all the mocks. <laughs> what was I doing? What was I even yes. doing? I, I do that all the time. I go down into the kitchen, open up the fridge yes. and I'm like, 
what, what was I doing again? What was I going to get? And then I, I just grab a biscuit anyway. For, well, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the same in the brick warehouse. I go to the brick warehouse. I, I'm, I, I have this, I need a one by three, whatever it is. And I go to the brick warehouse. It's like, uh, what was it again? And so, yeah, that's, that's how your mock evolves because you just pick up a different brick and take it back. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Imagine that. That'd be a nice problem to have. It really would. Uh, <laughs> Jake, let's, let's, let's pop over to you because uh, we've got to let Stuart's voice. Uh, not to get too raspy, so I've got to look after him. Uh, but yeah, Jake, uh, tell us a little bit about what you thought of Bricktastic last week. Then, then last year, so this was my second one. Um, bigger and better. Like everyone bought like so many. Like the 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 scale of like mock like improvements for people, and like what they brought along and things like that was just like actually crazy i wasn't expecting as many like giant mocks mm. like people had like i think like most people had like two to four tables and there was me with my little half table with my little mocks on it and i was feeling very proud and everyone was like no look at this i've got an entire entire world over here and you can get <laughs> inside of it and you know that someone's got a ping uh pinball table and whatnot it was crazy yeah, the pinball table was really good. I saw that over at the yeah, back. Uh, you had the great big ball contraption as well. And you had mm -hmm. uh, Hugh from Brickset looking after that. <laughs> that's, that's a bloody job for life, that is. Uh, I mean, and, and of course, you had sections of that that wasn't even connected. It was just like the ball would just roll and the next section. about That's how good their GBC was. You don't need the balls to connect. That's that's accuracy, that, that is. is. That is. <laughs> it was laser accuracy as well. It really was. <laughs> Uh, what about you, uh, Margie? Uh, what, what, what did you think of Bricktastic last week? So it was the first year display in there. So I've been there for, this is the third time me attending, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the first time me displaying. So it was, a, it was nice to experience it from a, from a displayer point of view. But yeah, as Jake said, it was amazing. Like bigger than last year. Um, so many familiar faces, so many kind words. It was amazing. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? It was really good. Uh, Gaz, I think, yeah. did you display there last year? Was that your first time displaying there? Uh, first time there and first time displaying there as well. So. Oh, you've never been? I didn't no, realise no, no, you'd no, actually no, never no. been no. before. So what, what, what was no, it like? No. I mean, you walk in. <laughs> I, I didn't realise because we, we can refer to it uh, as <laughs> as under the arches, really, because yeah. we're yeah, yeah, yeah. going to use even more arches. Um, yeah, so so <laughs> what did you think? I mean, as a, as a location, uh, a place to have an event like that, oh. I think it's pretty oh, it's, spectacular. What, yeah, what did you think it's of that? Right, first? Really, really good venue, really. And I really and I was looking at the pictures from last year as well, and they had a different colour carpet. And I just think, yeah, the blue was really good. <laughs> so as well, because it really stood out. And I just, I think so you can like, tell you're getting middle aged. You're moving into that middle aged uh, sort of lifetime. When you think <laughs> when you display something, you're like, oh, do you know what? I quite like that carpet. It's all a bit of a right. <laughs> it was. It was a really nice bit of carpet. So. It worked. No, to it, be it, fair, it actually worked <laughs> with all the mocks, everything with the photographs. It actually works really, really well. It looks yeah, good. Uh, good. So I totally recommend that. Um, yeah, yeah but it's really good. I mean, I, look, I think the set out was really good as well because, you know, there was every now and again, there was somewhere for someone to do something as well. So they had those like boards up like that when you had like all the bits of Legos, you could put like a sign up on the boards, which is really good fun. And then you could move on maybe and have a look at some mocks. And then there was like a brick pit. And I think one of them had Lego written out in bricks as well, which just plonked yeah. in there as well, which is brilliant as well. So yeah, really, really good. Really, really good. And I can't wait for next year, yeah. even though it's only just happened, but you know. I know I, I do kind of want to, I want something else to kind of happen and uh to a certain degree I'm sort of like thank goodness I'm going to Chicago because I, I do want to feel that again but I gotta be honest it, it took me days to get over it yeah. like I, I I didn't feel normal I mean Stuart to a certain degree still doesn't uh but I mean I mean Stuart I mean for you it must it must feel so full-on I mean you must wake up and think well where am I today is that what it was like for you uh yeah I mean it's yeah well I guess it's just been part of a very mad couple of weeks preparing for the the set launch and uh, mm. everything else. So it's uh, it, it kind of all did just blur into uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Monday. It must be Brussels kind of thing. So um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Monday's Brussels day. I like yes. that. Uh, very very cool. Um, Carrie and Ian, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm saying you guys were there last year, wasn't you? You had to yeah. the coral was there last year. Coral. Yeah. yeah. So it's our second time displaying, third time there. Um, 
and it was bigger and better. And I agree on the carpet. The carpet was a really good colour. Um, as soon as it went we in, I was like, the, the colour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would totally be up for it. See? I, I don't know if they can store that carpet anywhere and just reuse it again next year. I, I wouldn't know. after a, a weekend. I, I don't think so. No. Really <laughs> Sadly, the carpet's, the carpet's they, gone now, Greg. I'm afraid. They can't yeah. even keep the underlay or something like that. Did it even have underlay? Yeah, there there was no one. I didn't even look. I should have. There we go. Uh, well, hey, well, the carpet. Let's just double yeah. check. There you go. What can I say? We'll put tactics out there. That's the, uh, whoever that is behind that account, uh, Leanne or uh, that's or Leanne. Or yeah, Leanne. Right, there you Leanne. go. Next year for the auction, cut off a bit of the carpet. Yeah, I was going to say. I like a yeah. carpet. What a great yeah. item! Yeah. Some money. You might, it got a bit of an overhang or something like that. It's a bit of carpet. A bit, you know. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe on the studs. You're talking about the carpet, dude. Honestly, thirty-two studs by thirty-two studs. God, we're, we're, what can I say? We're very detailed. We are in this. In this <laughs> thing. Uh, but I like to. Isn't it? You see all the pictures. You, you look at the pictures. Yeah. You're either going to look. You're either going to see carpet or you're going to see uh, the the iron arches. It's going to be one of the two. Mm. I hope in pictures like, people are paying attention. Attention to the Lego and like well, not really the, <laughs> just the carpet and the arches. It's what sets it off. It's what sets it off. What can I say? It's contrasting. Uh, anyway, I mean, talking of contrasting things. Uh, so, Stuart, uh, you guys, uh, Lego House, uh, you was back there again yesterday. He's doing this thing, this uh, this this launch uh, of uh, your latest and greatest uh, incarnation. I think it's number five. This one isn't it? It is. Um, it is number five. It's. Uh... This one oh, here. oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Come in number five. There we go. Let me number five. So the Lego building systems. So it's a tribute and homage to uh, the three building systems of uh, Duplo, Lego System, and Lego Technic Bricks. And uh, with some classic sets from uh, each of the different building platforms. So yes, that one was uh, launched. Uh, we had a pre-access event uh, last night where we could get all the the stories behind uh, behind the set design um and we had uh marcus who's also uh, my my co-designer on it and uh and we had uh, christian who's the corporate historian who gives all the, the history to to that oh nice uh, so it was a it was a cool event and uh it was really good to be able to sort of share the thinking behind the uh, behind the set and how it links to the lego house i mean these are the lego house uh, exclusive sets that they're, they're they're basically designed to tell the important stories of the of the Lego group, um, and that's what it's all about. And uh, and of course, the, the the core building systems is uh, is an important story that underpins the whole sort of uh, Lego play. So it was a it was a good one to do. And uh, yeah, um, uh, and and on the back of the set, we actually have this little sort of. Uh, not Easter egg, but there's sort of a little extra, uh, a little extra surprise on the back. I've, I've got sections of the uh, of the build here, so you yeah. Because I didn't realise oh, that you, you 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 get these kind of really cool little builds on the back. Uh, yes, all these little, little nano builds on the on the back so there. So cute. Um, oh. Things like the the three seven five yellow castle and the, the black seas barracuda and so on. Yes. And these little micro builds, mm -hmm. and nano builds, and the the idea is we actually left one little spot. So if you have a a favourite build, then you uh, then you can add. Uh, add your own. Uh, well, that's such I'm actually, a good idea. I, I love I that I love so that much. much. I, I'm curious then. So if we, if we all if we all was going to put like a micro build in, I can put everyone on the spot here. Uh, if we was gonna, all going to do a micro build and pop one there, I want to know what you like out there in the chat think about this as well. Think micro build. Think about like the sort of stuff that you get uh, from the advent calendars, that kind of thing. Those sort of micro builds. Uh, what would you put in there? Um, I don't know. Let's start with Stuart. I mean, Stuart, what was the one that didn't make it in there potentially? Well, or... I, um, it was actually Marcus that did the, the nano build, but he can speak, you know, he, he's talked to me about what, what we were putting on there. And uh, uh, the ones I actually at the, 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 the pre the pre access event uh, last night, I showed what I was going to add because on the original concept model, I actually had the, the Technic 851 tractor. And uh, after Several discussions. Oh, Marcus yeah. decided to delete my tractor and replace it with the Technic uh, car chassis. So I actually made a little <laughs> nano build of the uh, of the the, uh, the Technic tractor to put on there. But then then I decided yeah, maybe that's not right. So I uh, in my personal one I'm adding. Uh, so then I thought my manager he was actually a designer on Galador. So I was making a little <laughs> gravestone of Galador. Yeah, I, I, I liked all the little things that you gave Mark about that one as well. Blimey. Uh, it was a great comeback. If he, if he ever says something and you think, oh, 
Go on, bed it, yes. right? Go, like managers do, folks. He's always yeah. you just say Galador, and that's Galador. it. Yes. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I made then I made a little um guy. I got I love uh, Fabuland, so I made a little Fabuland college. Mm. That was the final one. Yes, oh, yes, amazing. Fabuland. There's a lot of love for Fabuland. I mean, yes. and the, the Animal Crossing really, really brought that to the fore as well. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. There was a there was, there was a guy there. Uh, so now the Brickbods, um, I, I've got my video coming out tomorrow. My vlog, uh, Brickbods have already released one of their videos. Um, did you guys see? I'm sure you did because I, I know you always try and get all the mocks in there, Harry. Did you guys get to see the guy with the Duplo city with the, the trains running around it? Uh, just inside the doorway. Yeah, yeah, just basically yeah. opposite where we will. Uh, <coughs> yeah, just that one is there. coming. Good stuff, uh, yeah, but that was pretty good. Cool. I didn't, I didn't know there was so much Duplo out there. Oh, like, yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing. Some really it's good ones amazing. in there as well. I seriously, I want to do a Duplo stream, but I just think we'll build whatever we get in like Where 10 is minutes. A niche. Where are the A4 Duplo streamers? There yeah, is a I mean, niche. To be. <laughs> I've never seen sets it. can be awesome. <laughs> yeah, they are. I mean, uh, Ollie Gregory when he came on, do you remember that heart that he did carry? Uh, yeah, for the, for the build to give just oh, before Christmas. It's beautiful. Uh, he came on, uh, Stuart, right, and he he, uh, like, he was building it as as, as the stream's going on. He's like, doo, 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 doo. He couldn't quite see what he was doing, and then he pulled it out. <laughs> he did this heart, and it was it must have been that big. It was yeah. ginormous. Uh, he doesn't do anything by half. Uh, no. Hold on, he's he's top guy. <laughs> um and uh yeah yeah so, so that's good cool. so how, what was the event like last night was it good fun i mean i i know yeah. uh, dan from tga was there uh he was he he totally enjoyed it he was actually cream cracker as well uh <laughs> but yeah he he said it was really good and he at the shop as well and yeah did, did you did you did you enjoy the event did it how how was it received did, did, did people like i think i mean uh I, I checked some comment i mean you it's hard when you're kind of in front it's hard to sort of read how it was uh, going down. Of course, I, I read some comments and stuff after afterwards, and it seemed to be generally pretty uh, positively received. So I think uh, people appreciate the, the thinking, and of course, I get the chance mm. to show the, the the development, the sketch model, and all that kind of stuff because I, I oh, take it nice. to the sketch model stage, and then I hand it over to Marcus, and he matures it and makes it ready for production. Um, so of course, they, they're like it's good to be able to see kind of the, the thinking that went into it. Um, and then of course, Christian giving uh, some of this sort of detailed uh, history. And we had, there was a little uh, audio recording of uh, Godfrey, uh, the second generation owner talking about, you know, how the, how the whole idea about doing a, a Lego system came about. And uh, so it was, um, it was pretty cool. And uh, oh, then of course amazing. the store was open. So there was more sort of opportunities to buy extra sets and get them signed. And uh, we also, uh released all the march first stuff yesterday so that uh, people get in early and get some of the march That's first cool. stuff i know i know <laughs> dan, dan couldn't believe it dan, dan was live yesterday for, from there and he was going around and he's uh, sort of doing he's like oh yes i was you know talking about what was going on and stuff like that and he went he went oh hello uh there's new harry potter sets down there and, he was sort of like, <laughs> it. and then as he turned around there was uh someone was then putting out the new star wars sets as well so yeah. you know uh what a great event to go to i i, I might even i'm look, literally looking to get to go i mean let, how cool is this for I, jake you and i from london we could for a hundred pounds we can get we can park we can park at uh stansted and get a plane over and back uh so sounds good when are we, when are we going i don't know we, should, <laughs> we, we, we need to do it soon we need to do it soon honestly we do that uh, and our pilgrimage across all of Lon all of the london uh lego stores yeah can i so just going back to that as well so Stuart, a few weeks ago when uh jake was on i suggested that we might, we might do this thing where we walk uh there's four major uh lego stores in london yeah uh, like that. You, can, you can never you never have too many and um uh, i suggested why don't we walk to and from each one uh yeah i actually yeah so about the, the following week and i haven't got back to you on this yet, jake so this is kind of me circ uh, circling back on you uh it's, it's way too long it's miles and miles no nah, it's not long enough yeah yeah no seriously uh we, we, let's, let's use public transport maybe do buses at least anyway nah, we, we can do it come on me and you no, or yeah, maybe yeah, do yeah, different, different types of transport for four different types. But anyway, uh, somewhere along the line, we'll probably need the, the underground train. Let's see what a few peeps are saying out there as well tonight. We've got Liz. She's out there. Uh, she goes, I grabbed all the Animal Crossing sets today, and I'm not a yes, day one yes. person. Yeah, they're, they're oh, amazing. Love it. Honestly, those figures, those minifigures. 
they could be the best ones. Who knows, folks? I mean, my favorite figure of the year so far is the Vampire Knight. Love that. Um, oh, yeah. She then goes on to say, well, it is. It's really cool. Uh, Duplo is underrated, says Liz. I'm, I'm going to do a Duplo stream. I'm going to do it. Where I was put, Go back three years ago when I did a friend stream. That was like, oh, he's doing a friend stream. No one's ever done that before. Uh, now it's, uh, now of course, it's YouTube anyway. Jeez. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Losers. Pioneer on YouTube, whatever. Um You've got, We've been doing it on Twitch for years, mate. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Catch up, <laughs> you guys. Come on. <laughs> Uh, we've got Bricketeer out right there. Let's do it. Oh, you're right. Uh, Stuart, Stuart, let's go raid someone, shall we? Uh, Stuart is uh, is the exclusive exclusive tree of creativity set back uh, to stay in the house shop. Uh, no, it was a, it was a it was a kind of one off uh, thing with a with with some of the ones we had left. We decided to uh, sell them at the uh, the pre access uh, event, and um, and then whatever was left over, we would sell uh, today. I'm not sure. How many are left uh, from that? But it won't last long. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, I think I, there's only one I actually. I, I don't have to power it yet, so I'm, that's going to be around for a while. Oh. Uh, that's like that sells like hotcakes. That's going to be around for a while. Uh, and uh, what's the other one? I'd like to get. It was only now. What I love about the Lego house, even though I've not been there, is that your sets should be quite different. Maybe even kind of less commercial. You, I think you can get away with it, Stuart. Yeah. Um, and I've got, to, I've got to ask one thing, because I was looking at some of those sets, uh, and there's um, one of the sets is the, um, I, th I think it's, uh, I think it's homage to uh, someone called Dagny, Dagny Home, is that pronounced? Downey. Downey, Downey Home. Home. Downey yes. Home. And, and I was looking at that, because I'm, I'm looking at doing something going forward with a particular size of figure. And, and then as I, as I was kind of looking at it, I was like, there's a great big giraffe in there. Do you know the story behind the giraffe? And the only reason I say this is because at, at Bricktastic, we had a massive ATAT -AT yes. oh, giraffe. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, hold on. Is there is that where is there is that the connection there? But anyway, tell, tell us a little bit about that giraffe if you so, know about so it. Downey, Downey Holm was the first master builder of the Lego group. She was the, the cousin of Godfrey de Kirk Christiansen, the, the second generation owner. And um, she was basically classically trained uh, artist. And she, uh, in the 60s, joined the, the Lego group to put her artistic skills into practice to uh, build with, with Lego bricks, basically this new creative medium that, that she had. Yeah. So she, basically, she was building the, uh, all the models. She kind of invented the whole sort of uh, mini land thing for Legoland. She uh, built a lot of the, the characters and animals that were on the rides. Like, so the giraffes featured on the safari ride. And they were kind of a, a very emblematic of her style, this kind of simple blocky uh, nature, but but was very sort of characterful. Um, and so a lot of her, her figures and, and, and animals had that kind of uh, feature to them. So it was very classic for her. Um, and to sort of honor her, her legacy for the leg group, we actually put a couple of her giraffes or copies of her giraffes in the in the uh, in the Lego house in something we call the creative lab, this, this uh, sort of uh, facilitated building space. And uh, the idea was that uh, when we did the when we do the the Lego House exclusive sets, it's about tying the Lego Group's history to the Lego House's uh, sort of concept, and also you know what what's going on in the Lego House. So of course, uh, it made sense when we built her little sort of workshop to actually put the giraffes on there because that's something very classic for her, but it's also something very iconic for the uh, for the Lego House when you go there. So that's kind of the the story behind them and the, and the link that we have there. And actually, I in the Downey Home set, I actually snuck in a little easter egg on one of the printed tiles that um as you might know is i always wear yellow shoes and yeah. because she was the first uh lego master builder i'm basically following in her footsteps so there's a pair of yellow shoes with her footsteps uh, going going from that side no, yeah. <laughs> see if you know you know i love that and also when you uh, when you get the um, the books for the exclusive sets they're not just instructions they kind of go into a little bit of the history behind the lego house and the features of the set as well do they not uh, they do and uh they, we try to tell as many in, these sets are basically about telling uh stories or or paying tribute to certain milestones or the the heritage of uh of uh, of the leg group over of course 90 plus years so um there is unlike 
you know, a lot of the BIM instructions, we actually have quite a section on the on the storytelling and uh, and all the, the sort of marketing pages, if you like, of telling about the set's development and so on uh, in there. So, um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a it was a good uh, it was a good thing to to do, especially like the Downing Hall was uh, was a great one because I I knew of her. Um, she actually retired before I started, probably about uh, eleven. I think it was about nine, ten, eleven years before I started. Blimey, um, she had a long career at Lego then. She, she did, yeah, from the sixties. But she she uh, she retired. I think it was 80, 1984. Uh, and I started in uh, around nineteen ninety three. So um, yeah. So I didn't actually get to meet her, but her work was everywhere in the Lego group in, in a lot of the offices and stuff like that. It was used to decoration all over the place. So um, uh, she left a she left a great legacy. Yeah, I mean, look at look at you now with with, with the stuff that you've done, and you've got massive constructions or, or, or very large statues kind of all over the world now. Which is kind of is that quite a satisfying thing to do? Uh, yeah, I guess it, I guess it is. Um, I, I mean. I think one of the joys of the the job that I have compared to say um, when I want to do the sets, of course, doing doing the stuff in in Lego House means that I can actually go, go into the house and I can see the impact of what you do uh, directly. You can see the joy or, or whatever that how yeah. people are enjoying the <coughs> Lego House and they're smiling or whatever um, with the, with whatever you've sort of added um, to the house. So it's that's a nice thing to be able to see that now firsthand on a, on a daily basis. Yeah, that's lovely. That is, it's it's kind of instant feedback as well, and and of course the process. We, and we kind of went into the bit of the process as well about because uh, because while quite a lot of kids uh, and parents were asking you at Bricktastic, you know, how do I how do I get a job there, and you know what what I should do and stuff like that. And even when I was kind of uh, doing the meet and greet with uh, with Freddie, it was it it wasn't it, you're you're absolutely not not working in silos it's very collaborative there's kind of a, a constant loop back of feedback and things like that um so so it, it's it really is kind of like a like a really quite kind of quite a deep thing to kind of work at lego you, you're you're not on your own and no. stuff like that and, and did you go through many iterations or anything like that when you was doing it uh when i what when i was doing uh which the uh, well, the new one the, yeah the latest one oh, the, um yeah i mean of course you you're consulting a lot of stakeholders um i mean in the, in the up until the, in and including the pirate it was actually uh kel kirk sampson who actually uh uh got the, the final say on the on the set so that was great to be able to show him and get his uh his feedback on it but uh since he's sort of um uh, retired if you like uh, then we've just done it internally within the um, uh, within the Lego House sort of management to uh, to sign off on the on the sets. But of course, there's lots of different opinions and views and stuff. So of course, uh, of course yeah, yeah. you've got you've got to get everybody on board. But the thing is that we established quite a long time ago what the roadmap was. So I've known a long time ahead what sets I'm good be, going to be designing for what years and so on. So it was, um, yeah, it's been a uh, so of course some of these sets are sort of a cranking away in the back of my mind as to what how to execute them but uh yeah yeah it's been a lot of fun okay cool. so so uh, they, what seems about half an hour ago i was going to ask everyone uh what mini builds that they would put in uh for that for that, <laughs> uh, that spare one so uh i'm going to go to gaz and gaz yeah. you can choose anything you like other than um <laughs> Doctor who or <laughs> Oh, what's the, 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 oh, I'm out then. <laughs> so, yeah, the, 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 what, what's that? What's that one that you like? The fortress one. Uh, oh, El Dorado fortress. El Dorado oh, fortress. But, yeah. What, but pirates is already in there. With the, oh, yeah, good point. Okay. Um, All right, fair enough. So, what would you go for then? What would be your uh, mi mini or micro build? I think I'd probably go for something from ideas though. Um, so, I mean, I, I mean, I've got like I can see like the other submarine, for example. I mean, that would probably be quite a nice little one to have in there because it's got quite a distinctive shape. Um, if not that, maybe the Ghostbusters Firehouse because I do quite oh, like that. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters mm, Firehouse. Yeah. That's a nice set. That was one. That was that was one I never got that I kind of wish I had. Uh, you never know; might happen just one day. Um, <laughs> what about you, Carrie? Uh, now you can pick anything other than elves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go for my favourite Star Wars set. Really? Yeah, what the? I, uh, I think the Ewok Village would look. Ewok good. Village, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was not expecting the word Star Wars. No, I thought I, I thought I'd throw it out there for oh, Wow. It's like curveball there from Harry. 
Jeez. That's, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, and what, what about what about uh, Mr. Panache uh, to your right? What, what would he go for? <laughs> Do I have any limitations on what I can't pick? Uh, you okay. can pick anything you like. Would you like me to give you a limitation? Because if you did, I'd say, oh, what would I say? What does he like building, guys? What's his, his kind of favorite? A friend set. Yeah, anything but a friend set. <laughs> can we anything as long as it's a CMF, maybe? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, CMF. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah, really today. No, no, I don't care for minifigures. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking the, the big Ferris wheel. Oh, oh that's a night nice, yeah like that like that he was doing it like that i just writing it down <laughs> uh, what about what about you minark what, what, what would you do if you if you could have one and you could have anything at all uh whether it be friends <laughs> elves or maybe hidden side hidden side was was a thing once folks we love that hidden side we? hidden side was amazing but yeah. i would love to see i uh, have a micro build of assembly square Assembly oh. Square. I saw someone else out there say Assembly Square yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Assembly Square is just my favourite set of all time. I, I love that set so much. So is it? I would have a little more. Yeah, that? That. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, very cool one, that. Um, Jake, uh, what, what would you go for? I, I, I'm expecting something quite left field well, from you as Have well. I got a limitation, have I? Or... Um, <laughs> do you know what? I'd say anything but Lego ideas with you. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I've got two. I've got two in my head. I've got uh, a tribute to Bionicle because I think it's a very important. We actually, we actually have a tribute Is to there? Bionicle. I didn't oh, see it. 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 Damn Damn it. it. The, little, the little canister. And the... There it is, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's that Bionicle. Is cool. Fine. A little my... canister. That's, fine. that's all the Bionicle you're going to get this year, everyone. But that's nice one, nonetheless. <laughs> hey, it works. It's fine. It's done. <laughs> done. <laughs> if I have to travel all the way to Denmark for it, <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, for that, for that, you could save some money go to Britain. But anyway, we want to get to the Lego um, house. Then my other one, then, yeah, is the other uh, one? Would also Yellow Castle, because that's in there. That's Yellow Castle's no. in there. Uh, was also going to be Hidden Side, because I like oh, okay. the where. Yeah. Hidden Side brought the idea of how to how to use Lego to tell a story as well within a digital space and sort of blending the two of physical and digital mm. world. And I think they did pretty very good, important actually. for Lego going forward. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I think if I if I was going to do it, I would do something like and it's something I never got into or anything like that. Si O'Connor is out there; he might appreciate this. I do like a little a little salute to Dimensions. <laughs> Something yes. like that. I think that I think that would yeah. be quite a cool one because that, that was something oh, I never yeah. ever used, but or, or never played. But I kind of like the charm of never having done it as well. But oh, wasn't there some sort of like Stargate or something? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was brilliant that game. But yeah, you could you had that, and you had all the different figures you could put on there. I was um, actually I was talking to somebody at, um, on the weekend about it, and they said it was great from their point of view because you had the figure. And you could play with it on a computer, and then when you switch it off, you could still take the figure away and still play with it. So oh. it kind of bridges both worlds. That's what I mean. It's the best of both worlds. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where uh, Lego maybe could uh, could focus on or something like that. I don't know. Uh, the instruction manuals—they're definitely doing a great job of that. Um, Polar Bricks uh, says, uh, "I think maybe Ooh. the Saturn V. That would be a nice that would one. Be cool. Yeah, Saturn yeah. V is very very cool. Uh, that, was, that was Lego ideas, was it? It, it kind of had two two outings that particular set mm. uh back in the day um ideas, well yeah. here's the thing i got some pictures to show about this belleville my oh, god i have good. never it's seen that it's been around for ages jake tell us a little bit about belleville oh belleville well, it was there were there were two like things in like lego history where they did things that were a little bit sort of left field for uh the the female target audience of uh, one was belleville and the other one was scala and the one, one, I can't remember which one. I think Scala was supposed to be the kind of competitor to Barbie, if I'm right. Um, and then Scala was sort of more like a doll's house style uh, thing. Both of them, though, still had system bricks in it, but it wasn't like the majority of it was the Lego system. They were, they were of of their time. <laughs> well, there was um. There was uh, someone displaying Belleville at Bricktastic, uh, Victoria, yeah. her name was, and uh, she sent me Amazing. some pictures as well, folks. I'll show you. I, 
like this Belleville was really good, Stuart. Like <laughs> it, it was, it was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love, believe. I love the diamond that she'd done with all the Belleville yeah. dolls. That was a oh, really yeah. nice play. It's it was well. phenomenal. I know. It's a fun little I, scene. So, this cannot be Lego. Like my brain was just not computing <laughs> it. I, just, I wasn't getting it at all. Um, I'm intrigued though because we've got three systems out there at the moment. Three kind of things that the system kind of can interconnect with, or operability, as Kazmokit would say uh, when it came to New Hashima. Operability. I know it's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. Uh, what a word! Uh, I must have come out to spell it one day. Um, but uh, but. What I'm intrigued to know is, is what could Lego do next? Here's the thing. So we've got three systems. We've got Technic, and this is this is a bit of a brain thing. Uh, we've got Technic, we've got System, and, of course, we've got Duplo. Could there ever be something else added in there, Stuart, do you think? Uh, do, you, do, you, do, you think do you think, like, there could be is – there, is there anything else that Lego could do that, that w- would, would be a kind of complementary addition to well, I Lego? mean, of course, the uh... – uh, the set celebrates the the three core building systems, but also if you sort of look at the history and you look at the the building instructions and uh, and, and then we we tell the story about all the other platforms. I think that technically they're called platforms actually that come through there. So you know we have uh, the, okay. the quattro, the jumbo bricks, we have the modulex, we have the construction. So you have the the bionicle uh, components, um, and um, one of my favourites is uh, Primo. I really love the Primo stuff that that came out. Uh, about the time that I started with uh, with Lego the first time, so it was uh, that was a cool. Uh, I love the characters and the and the and the form of that was uh, was really nice. So of course there are a lot, and many of them were inter interoperable, um, except Modulex, which was uh, which was a weird thing all on its own. Oh, okay. That's it. I need to look up more Lego history. I've uh, I've downloaded some audio books, which I was going to listen uh, when I was actually going up to Bricktastic, and uh, I did it because I'd really focus on the road because the rain was horrendous uh, on Friday go uh, on Thursday going. That was that was because when you flew over, you was flying in. It was a bit of a hurricane or something like that. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, it was. A, it was into a bit of a headwind. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that, I mean, I, I, it's it tight anyway, but I was just like, blimey, the weather is, is going to be like, uh, it's, one, driving in it is one thing, flying in it is, is, is yeah. another. Uh, we got, uh, what else we got there? Matthew, Matthew Bill's Bricks. Uh, I love Primo. I didn't know about it. Uh, um, Stu Bart, oh, who's, that, yeah, yeah what, what is that? What's the oh. snap? Uh, I've never heard anything. It sounds like a yeah. It's, it sounds like a tool manufacturer or something like that. It was a, uh, but anyway, let's say, I tell you what we will do. We'll have a look at some photos of um, of the Lego House exclusive uh, via uh, uh, Jay's Brick Blog, and uh, we've got a few more bits here. Okay. So is is this the uh, is this the car that the uh, that is represented in the? Yep. In so the that's the exclusive? that's the Technic chassis, and uh, I had to. Uh, Build one, an original one to put on the display in the in the retail store, and nineteen uh, seventies building instructions are certainly an experience. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, actually, okay. If you could build Technic in the seventies, <clears throat> you could build Technic in any era. Uh, you really could. Uh, I mean, it looks. I mean, there was a lot going on there. It kind of reminds me of Meccano. Uh, my brothers had it gave me some hand me downs Meccano stuff when I was a kid, and it was yeah. like metal. It was like it was real proper mechanical stuff, and that kind of reminds me of that. Um, I totally remember those tires, though. Uh, yeah. Those tires are epic. Oh, the tires are <laughs> pucks. They're really, really good. Um, then we got the train, uh, the representative that. train. And the, really? uh, in my sketch model, I just did a Duplo style train, mm. and Marcus uh, actually corrected it and made it actually. Uh, a proper reference so he mixed two trains he mixed two seven double oh and two seven oh five so one's a passenger train and one's a cargo train and we actually sort of put it together to make uh to make uh, a, a a much more realistic uh, duplo train yeah that's cool and and is that like a standard duplo figure that's there is that is that still because i really don't know much about duplo um but that figure that's there that blue figure with a yellow hat um, is that like a, a standard Duplo figure? Because that's quite a cool looking figure, I think. Um, I like that's that. Really nice screen. Yeah, yeah I, I'm probably a bit too small for you to see. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's, a, that's a standard Duplo figure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like that. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, what about, I'm just curious. Anyone on the panel ever built a, du- a Duplo set? I may have actually uh, built that one, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> not, yeah, yeah. Before. not recently, though, guys. Um, no, no, not recently. Not recently. What about what about you, uh, Carrie? Yeah, I'm just looking. I had a Duplo figure on my table earlier, and I can't find her. I think I might have put her away. But yeah, our kids obviously have Duplo, so we've built quite a lot of Duplo. Oh, I love but, it. 
The, I mean, we have a Duplo light brick. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Oh, the Duplo light well, brick. I, that must be like a torch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know, the, the Duplo light brick. It's different colours. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's really no cool. way. I need it. <laughs> I, I need to look that up. That's, that's a serious part. You got I have four again. of them. They're phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to find I'm those. Uh, yet, if anyone's looking for it. Mm. Okay. In the freezer set. Okay. I like it. I like it. There we go. This this town. I think this is like town number one or something. Lego yeah, town plan. Town plan number one. Yeah. From I think 1955. So that's kind of the real embodiment of the whole system in play, you know, because the whole town plan was something you could build the town the way you wanted to you could buy additional buildings and so on so it was very much uh sort of opening up the um the whole sort of chapter on uh on on lego systems and lego system in play yeah you see because in essence you're creating like a kind of ecosystem for it um uh, carrie oh here we go carrie carrie's uh holding something oh, up sure. here we go Hold it up, Karen. Hold it up. I see hold it up that's a little duplo girl she's got a skirt on i don't think this is her skirt but um, it's like a cloth. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, Sorry. Oh, hello. This is a family friendly show, Karen. Oh, poor <laughs> thing. Yeah. Catch, catch, cold there. Arms move. Traditionally for this, this solid. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Oh. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to do it. If you guys out there are up for a Duplo uh, stream Monday, we'll we'll do that. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit about 15 minutes long, but there we go. Uh, there we go. We can string it out. We're good at that. Uh, okay, so we've got the town there. It says, yeah, Lego Town Plan uh, was always a favorite of mine. So including in this year's exclusive set uh, was a no-brainer. Uh, I had more options uh, for which Technic and Duplo models to feature. I ended up choosing the classic car chassis and the Duplo train. Uh, all three models are Lego fan favorites and are an integral part of the activities at the Lego house. Apparently you said that, Stuart. I thought I, th <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Jay. Uh, and then I just said, yeah, said Stuart, Stuart Harris. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's here. Uh, very cool. Um, so it's coming down. There we go. So we've got, oh, so these are the, the these are predecessors. We've got the duck, um, which is still one of my favorites. I think that's very, very mm. cool. Um, I actually, do you know what? I've got that. Strangely enough, I haven't been to the house yet. It will happen, I promise. Um, I haven't got the because when Leicester Square reopened, yes. uh, I think they got about like a limited edition 500 uh, of them as a bit of a yeah. one off thing. My God, yeah. Stuart. Yeah, we sold. sent them a pallet. Yeah, yeah they, they sold out in half a day. They just no. went oh, like that, especially when people heard about it. It was like it, was, it caused a frenzy. It really did. Um, I'm, I, I, I don't know whether to ask you this or not, but have you got a favorite out of these, or have you got one that sort of people say, Oh, I, I never got that one, but I wish I had? Uh, so that's a, you know, when I get asked these questions, it's always, uh, you know, who's your favorite child? You might have one, but you're <laughs> yeah. not going to tell anyone who it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I think I mean, of course, the the duck was you know such an icon for the Lego group, and it's all about uh, the origins of uh, the best eager forgot, meaning only the best is good enough. You know where that all came from, and yeah. so uh, of course, being such a such an important icon of the Lego group, to have the sort of the opportunity to work on that one was pretty cool. So, yeah. But uh, I think one of the surprising ones from popularity is the is the brick molding machine mm. uh, right. when, when it retired so many people have asked for that one back there we go this yes, one here okay. home of the brick uh, mm, house okay. i love the logo there 40502 the brick molding machine uh yeah that is cool yeah that's good yeah. that's the thing and that's what makes the lego house exclusives that that bit more interesting really because you kind of as long as it can it kind of circles back to the house uh, you guys are always going to be able to do something quite out of the norm, uh, yeah. which is nice. It's a good thing. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so brilliant. Okay, good stuff. Mm. Uh, oh, here we uh, go. we, 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 here's one we made ooh, earlier, folks. He's got the flex tape then. Come on. Yes. <laughs> the only thing I have about this is why did you not make the bills out of brick separators? That would have just been amazing. I know, but we really wanted to... <laughs> I actually, actually, in one of the prototypes, there were brick separators um, for the build, but it was uh, we wanted to be uh, follow as closely as possible to the um, to the original profile, and also to make it uh, attached to the mechanism. It it would have uh, it been like that, and I'm not even sure if we are allowed to use the brick separators in an official oh. build because of the the difference in the clutch power and something. Else. So I, I wouldn't know if that would even even get through. So. Yeah, yeah, Simon's out there. He's saying uh, that's a good point, actually. Um, 
because it's a tool rather than actually something yeah. that you would use to build. But of course, uh, people out there do come up with some old and wonderful things to build. Simon's out there saying, Shane, the brick molding machine is discontinued. Uh, I can we just, agree. Yeah, I, I'm intrigued to know how much that goes for on eBay. That is. Uh, oh, there we go. He's, he's showing himself. I, lo I love the fact you've got someone in the room moving the camera with you, uh, yeah, Jake. It's my cameraman, like Charlie. Exactly. <laughs> uh, say hi to Charlie for us. We should credit him as well. <laughs> There he is there. Uh, but yeah, um, we've got, we got a couple of questions, actually, Stuart. Let's get a couple of mm. coming uh, <laughs> quickly fired in. Uh, but firstly, I just wanted to mention something Sai said earlier on. He actually says that uh, he still plays uh, Lego Dimensions, uh, which is... Yeah, cool. good lad. It's <laughs> is, is good, isn't it? Good game. Oh, did, yeah, some good, good game. did some good minifigures. I think David Hasselhoff was one of them, actually. I mean, yeah, he yeah. Hoff. Uh, we'd <laughs> never associate him with Lego, but you got yeah. it. Yeah. It's just uh, phenomenal how you've got all these IP themes and they just all club together and it just works. You can have just this mismatch. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. Think, Knight Rider. Wasn't, we'll get that wasn't, one the, um, wasn't the Tom Cruise uh, figure life-size as well, if, if I remember? <laughs> 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 like it. I don't know where he was going with that then, but you know, he's right. There <laughs> it's a family show, show, Greg. Come on. What's he like? What's he like, eh? <laughs> uh, I tell you, we got so we got a couple of questions. Uh, we got a, a couple of questions. Uh, let's go with uh, Emily. She was there first. She goes, uh, Emily Sykes says, a uh, weird question, but how does everyone keep their Lego clean while being on display? Now, Stuart, mm. I think you've got probably more Lego sets than the, the average uh, person out there. Uh, yeah. what, what would you say was like, say, maybe the number one thing to keep your Lego sets clean? Um, I mean, I, at home, I don't have that many. I just, all I have is the sets that I've designed. Um, so I have some inside tour sets and some Lego house exclusives. But of course, at, uh, in the house, we have a lot of Lego models on, on display. And it's actually, it's funny. It's some of our most watched social media video footage is us cleaning our models. It's, uh, <laughs> That's it's, bizarre. I think it's because it's a problem everyone faces the, yeah. same, you know, the same situation. So uh, yeah, and we just use a mix of uh, compressed air, brushes vacuums um it's it's whatever and and of course having things like the the tree of creativity which is like 50 feet tall that's a that's quite a big cleaning operation to uh to keep that one clean so um yeah, yeah. you need to have that on your first shift wouldn't you <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's like a baptism of fire that. Yeah, it's kind, of, yeah. it's kind of, yeah. of the fourth bridge thing. You sort of once you've cleaned, got the top and cleaned, <laughs> you're gonna start again. <laughs> start again. I like that. I like Lego that. house intern. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Guess what your first job is. <laughs> uh, well, what about you? Um, let's go around and just ask the panel. Like I say, this is this is an everyday life thing. Um, well, you you put yours in a, in a in a cabinet. Do you get most of your Lego sets are in in there, Jake? Oh no! This is this is what I call the Great Cabinet of Lego Glory. So these are my favorite sets that I I keep in here. Um, but there are sets absolutely scattered around this room. Right. Um, most of them are in this corner, just off camera, yeah. where it's uh, a, a creative corner. Let's let's call it that. It's, it's, it's a piece like of creativity. Um, I should use that one with my wife. Yes, yeah, creative. Yeah. When you get to move all that rubbish. Uh, it's yeah. the creative corner. Yeah, uh, I little, like that. That's it. It's my little creative stuff. corner. But uh, I actually don't have anything to clean my Lego with. I need to. I need to invest. I need to find something. So uh, yeah, yeah. yeah if, anyone, really? if anyone's out there watching, wants to send something over, my, my details are in the description. <laughs> That's it. They are, as is everybody else's, folks. And while you're down there, does a favor, give us a thumbs up as well. You know, it makes sense. Uh, I'm going to have to make a great big thumbs up out of Lego, I think, one day. Uh, I'll carry there. With well, actually, we've got, we've got two people here that can do strange things with their thumbs. Uh, you could go first. Go on, show, show us your party trick. Look at that. Strangely, how bendy is that thumb? It's unnatural. It really is. <laughs> Couldn't make that out of Lego. Uh, and, uh, and Carrie's got this strange thing as well with her thumbs. Here we go. Go on, go for it. There we go. There we go. All right, nice one. Uh, <laughs> Ian, you're looking very satisfied there. What are you guys building at the moment? Uh, I'm building elves. Oh, I'm surprised. You must have built them all by now, surely. No, I've got, I think, three more to go. So I thought I'd add some more baddies in. So I'm building the actual uh, the carriage thing here, this thing. Oh, there's baddies in elves. Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, uh, Ian, uh, what's Ian yeah. doing? What have you let him do tonight? Oh, oh, oh. Is that, that uh, Mythica set? Oh, Mythica! Ah, uh, amazing! It needs to be yeah, a full yeah. theme. Oh, it's actually a bit sad. Like oh, it's no. missing <laughs> something, missing part of his body. Uh, yeah, that Mythica is that. I'm right. That's a Windsor set, isn't it? 
Yes. Windsor exclusive, yeah. Windsor exclusive. Of course, that's where uh, having having spoke uh, to Stuart for hours on end uh, this weekend, just gone. Um, yeah, of course, that's where you started your career at Lego, wasn't it? It was, yes. So I started in first tour of duty was in uh, 1993 uh, when we just bought Windsor Safari Park. Or the Lego just bought Windsor Safari Park and was going to convert it into a Legoland park. So I joined the the model shop to help build the models for that uh, that park. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I, I was leading the team of uh, show, we called them show and ride model builders. So things for the rides. And then there was a separate team who did all the, the mini land models. Uh, it's got two different dis- building disciplines. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then when we opened that, uh, that park, uh, I moved on to Legoland, California as a, as an art director on site. There. Nice. Which is, uh, which is pretty cool. A little bit of sand and sir. Yeah. I like that. That's very cool. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mark, you're always really good at organizing your Lego. Um, I'm pretty yeah. confident you'll be pretty decent at keeping it clean and tidy as well. Uh, have you got any particular ways that you keep it clean? And yeah. Sparkling? So, um, I brought one of them along with me to, to Britastic as well. And it's, mm. it's literally one of the big you did brushes yeah. yeah and it's just it's very soft makeup brush and you just go over your models and it's just because it's so gentle as well you can get into all of the gaps and get rid of the dust but again it's compressed air um as well um just using that on builds on the shelves um just to kind of keep the dust yeah, compressed air is good actually because yeah. i i bought one of these there's like a little vacuum cleaner with a uh, with a spout on it that's that, that sort of blows out here yeah? uh and i bought that it was only for you could really powerful i was like oh this is gonna be great i was just first lego set i put it on it just blew it to bits so uh <laughs> that's a bad idea and i was out of the garden as well i was like i won't do that again uh well, ian's ian's holding up what looks like a toy gun uh oh yeah, yeah. Ian, Ian, he, don't worry folks He's, he has got exceptionally large hands uh, but he worry, doesn't yeah. know what this is because he never uses it so. I, I use it Ooh. all the time. Ooh, Mm. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is our little vacuum used for cleaning the Lego. Yeah, what's the thing? Great, the problem, yeah. I can't reach most of the city, so yeah. All right. So, what's the string doing around it as well? Is that just? Oh, sorry. Tied... I have. I have. Yeah, hooks. It gets hung up. Oh, yeah, little hooks. On <laughs> really? I like it. Is that because you can't put it anywhere on the floor? Uh, I like to have things organised. I'm really tidy, didn't you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> so, how do you guys keep things clean, or have you never actually? tried i don't know what's, that's uh, it that's, that's what yeah, just a little bit oh that yeah. is it so you've got it yeah. but you've never used it okay I've used it all the time yeah we've used it all the time as well Oh, they're a bit defensive there. I don't. I don't think she does really, folks. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit over defensive, oh, if you ask me. Uh, well, well, uh, what about you guys? Uh, how do you keep your Lego clean? Um, it's a bit of a mixture between Carrie and uh, Mark. Actually, I've got a uh, Hoover, and I've got like a little brush. Although I've actually lost my brush, so I have got an old toothbrush I use as well, just for some of the older sets. <laughs> a bit more, uh, minty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get plaque on Lego or something. This, uh, over time, if you don't brush it, you get plaque build up on your Lego. <laughs> no, it's just it's because it's because some of my old sets were like kept in mum and dad's attic. I think where, oh. they, where it was slightly colder, the dust is a little bit mutant dust. I don't know what else to describe. So it's it. different so, types of dust. I don't know. Yeah, uh, so you need a bit more work to get rid of it. But it's, it's all right. All right. We'll take we we'll take another quick question as well. Uh, so, <laughs> Connor says, "Great. Can I ask? Can I ask Stuart?" If Lego will ever bring back the round trees and the tall trees similar to pine trees, I didn't think they'd gone out a day. I thought you could still get them in some sets. Are you, um, is that like the town plan trees or yeah, you can get the talking... triangle ones, but you can't get yeah, the round ones? Yeah, you can get ones. the triangle, but not oh, the round oh, ones. Yes, I know the round ones. Yeah. I, I have no idea. And and if I did know, I wouldn't be allowed to say. So. Oh, good point, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Feed, just feed it back. Stuart, feed it back. Don't worry, sorry. Uh, he'll feed it back. And, uh, <laughs> That could be part of next. Yeah, there's the thing you could use one of those as one of the exclusive pieces, a little treat, a homage to those. Uh, that, yes. that could be what side si would do. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see what the, some of them are saying out there as well. Uh, Emily, uh, I use uh, art paint brushes as well. Yeah, he does actually. I've seen him on my stream before. He's uh, doing away. Anyway, I think he's like Picasso or something like that. way he goes, goes on. Uh, a Mega Man. Hey. He's out there all the way from Scotland. We met him. Did, did you guys catch up with him as well when he was down on Saturday? Mm-hmm. That was good, wasn't it? It was good. I'm, I'm, I think I missed him sadly. Did you? Really? Oh, he was over no, I, did, I think I missed him. Okay. I had so many people come up to me and say hello, but none of them introduced themselves either by their real name or by their internet name. They were just like, "Hi, Jake." And I'm like, 
hi, who are you? And their name back on. Really you can even see that. They just, they just walk off. <laughs> oh, they? oh no, no. they're getting a bit uh, sassy with you or something like that uh pig will <laughs> says hi hi emily uh, emily sacks i'm getting some fluid build up uh, lymphomania because of lymphomas removed uh masculinity and why is that uh pig wills hope you're doing okay and doing well actually she's going to be on london calling in the next couple of weeks so oh, i'm looking nice forward thing. to getting her back on again uh we had the pleasure whilst we were at bricktastic um over the weekend of actually seeing uh a kind of a, a sample would we say of new hashima um amazing oh, guys tell us a little bit about yeah. that and then we'll ask mark what his thoughts on it were as well uh, um guys tell us yeah. what you thought about new hashima i just thought it was just amazing because it was full 360 as well so you could just walk around it up and down not that you could go down but it was just like from top to bottom absolutely amazing and there's loads of little storytelling in all the little scenes and little nooks as well and even even though it was you know quite brightly lit in the hall um it, there was lights and it still made a heck of a difference as well. Yeah. I mean, to see that all lit up at night would be absolutely fantastic. Absolutely amazing. That would be quite good, um, actually. I would like to see new oh, Hashima yeah. written up. What, what have we got there, Jake? What are you showing off there? This is the, the new Hashima pamphlet that they were they were handing out for, oh, trying know. to get people to, to join in. That's what new Hashima looks like. Yeah. I know. I know. I learned all about the standards. So I was talking to Kaz Mocket mm. and she was telling me all about the new Hashima standard. And uh, folks, honestly, I've got I, I've got me, me and Kaz talking for a good 10 minutes about all three of her displays, one being the steampunk ATAT, one being the section mm. that she did in new Hashima, and one uh, being her absolute brilliant habitat. I think she's done like 38 colors or something like that with it. Um, but yeah, it is a yeah. thing. And we go really into detail about the standard of Nuhishima. And I get close up of all the, the cube and everything like that we make. Mm -hmm. I love Nuhishima. I yeah. think it is something I would definitely like to do. And yeah, people same. can get in touch with it. So, uh, and so kind of saying that was mm -hmm. epic. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Mark, tell us what you thought about Nuhishima and, and your thoughts about it and the lore of it. So, a lot of what Gaz has said is exactly what I'll say too it was absolutely phenomenal to see it um when you see in videos and things and, and pictures it doesn't give the scale it is no, so no. much taller than you think and the 360 degree view you can just spend hours there's just so much to just look at in any angle there's story any of the builds that you go around there's something happening there's mm. some amazing part usage that's being used yeah. like phenomenal part usage um and i love the fact <clears> that they take stickers and prints and they just merge them all together and just use them in fun ways to create different things it is it's it is an inspiration to see yeah. new Hashima. it really was yeah it's i think just... i think so too and uh i i'm definitely gonna be catching up with so simon who was there from canada here simon lou he He's uh, he's going to be in uh, Brickwell, Chicago uh, this year, and uh, it's quite local to him as well. I think he's literally down the road for him. Uh, so it's going to be really nice to see him and see a slightly bigger version of it as well. So mm -hmm. hopefully uh, Bricktastic will be able to get some new Hashima stuff yeah. uh, back next next year oh, as well. I hope so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do as well. Um, I, I tell you what, should we, uh, before we come back to talking about Bricktastic and Lego stuff and things, we got uh, we got some new sets that are announced today, and uh, and of course we got all the new sets that came out from March the first. Today being March the first, quite lucky that really. Mm. Uh, should we should we take this week's PMQ? Should we do it? Should we do the PMQ now? Mm. Uh, yeah. So here we go. So this this week's um, PMQ has been brought to us by, by uh, one brick stud, and uh, well, he asked quite an interesting question actually, one that we've kind of maybe slightly alluded to tonight already. <laughs> But anyway, so one brick stud asks the following question. Hi, this is one brick stud. You'll find me over on Instagram, and I also do a weekly stream with Fab Blondes Bricks over on YouTube. Here is my question for Greg and the London Calling panel. If you had to re release a retired set, what set would that be? and why and with that over to you 
Thank you so much for that one, Brick Stud. Awesome. Yeah, uh, awesome. Love it. And uh, did you like the little effect I put on that, Gaz, at the end there? Yeah, that was really I cool. Thought, I, I thought you might appreciate that. It's a bit I thought, of a wizard. Yeah, I thought it was real. Did you put it on? No, it's nice. Well, we can't, like, you mean it's not magic? A little sprinkling of CGI. <laughs> it's, it's magic. It's magic. You would have believed it if you had ruined it. Film. It's movie <laughs> magic. It's movie magic. What can I say? Uh, uh, I'm like a young Christopher Nolan. Uh <laughs> <laughs> or more Alfred Hitchcock, maybe. I don't know. Uh, mm, but anyway, sure. uh, where should we go first with that then? <laughs> uh, I was going to ask Carrie, but she looks like she's getting deep into her elves thing. So I'll come back to her in just a sec. Uh, let's go with you, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you say Doctor Who, I'm going to kick you off the stream. <laughs> and, uh, no Lego ideas, Doctor Who sets with you. No, we've, I, we've, well, been there. We've, we've done all the Doctor Who. We even <laughs> included it in Dimensions. We're done with it. They let it lie. Uh, no, but no. anyway, guys, mm -hmm. if, you, if you could re it. <laughs> Uh, if I could, well, it would be why, one I. If it could, it'd be one I didn't get that I always wanted. Um, oh yeah. So I used to have. So very short story. I used to have a um, a t shirt when I was younger, and he used to have this Lego spaceship one. I think it's Star Defender two hundred, and it had like two modules oh. on the side that could detach. But it also had like a clip on actual Lego, Lego minifigure Spaceman. So I'd love that because it was just. I'd love to see them what we do with it now with the bricks we've got. Because in the same way that they reimagine like the Galaxy Explorer as well. So I, it would just be really cool to see, like, maybe a more modern, up-to-date version of that as well. So that's what I'd bring back. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so uh, that's an interesting one. I like that. Yeah. Uh, that's quite quite, quite cool. Quite a personable one as well. <laughs> I think the personal ones are, are, are really quite interesting, actually. Um, let's go to Carrie on this one. So Carrie. Um, what, what... I struggle because Why is that, the new Why sets is that? coming out are really good. So going yeah. back, like you're not going to get the same sort of quality. But one set I wish I'd got was Apoc Apocalypse Berg. Oh I yeah, I don't know why yeah. it just yeah. it appeals to me. That, um, that was, that's the that's the second one I put. There we go, yeah. Apocalypse Berg. Yeah. Uh, you been bingo? <laughs> yeah. No, that bingo was last uh, last Saturday. That was. <laughs> <laughs> we were terrible yeah. at that. Legs uh, eleven. <laughs> yeah, legs eleven. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I think you're coming out with the late nineties, wasn't it? Well, anyway, that's another thing. Uh, so anyway, uh, what about what about you then, uh, Ian? What, what, what so I don't really think there's kind of a set that I'd want re-released because you know they've gone back and done the classics. You know they've redone castles so many times. You've got good ones. I don't think. Yeah. You know, the Yellow Castle, a lot of people have nostalgia for, but I don't think we need a re-release of it or anything like that. What I would kind of like is to bring back more of the concept of the My Own Train, mm, yeah. where you could buy the engines in different colours and Yay. the carriages in different colours and kind of mix and match it and do what you want. Oh, I think that's a really exactly. nice way of doing trains. So I'd like that. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I would like, I, I think the train community would quite like that to being able to buy mm. the sort of sections of trains, different carriages and stuff like that. Don't, don't um, get them started. They'll all be in the comments raving. Don't do I it. Know, I know. <laughs> trains, uh, are, oh, they, go, they go for it. Um, but no, I, th I think that's um, that's a really good one, though, with the uh, the My Trains uh, idea. Um, what about you, Mark? Um, mm -hmm. what, what, what would you go for then if you could re release a set? What set would it be? And why would you go for it as well? So, again, mine is purely I had the opportunity when I got back into Lego to get this, and I didn't, and it passed me by. But it's the original Ninjago City. Oh. I would love the ninjago the re-release the ninjago oh, city yeah. yeah yeah that's fair enough yeah that's uh what I, are you I, I love that set so much and i really wish i'd got it and I'd yeah love I, the opportunity to get it well, hopefully in a few weeks i might even be building it but i'm gonna build the micro set first potentially anyway i put something out on the uh, instagram earlier on about that <laughs> uh, has anyone bought that today as well by the way i know pink wills has um she messaged me i know one or two others have i've actually got it it's 2600 points i think 700 mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's, um, but but yeah, so I've got mine because I, I I want to collect that series, uh, which is pretty good. But yeah, Ninjago City, that is a good shout, Mark. Um, have you ever have you ever built a set and you sort of think, oh god, you know, I wish I could buy another one of those, Mark? Have you ever ever done that? Yeah, so um, <laughs> I did that. So I would have again. Um, I like I came in and my favorite set of all time. Um is assembly square and what i would have i know i could still technically get it but i think for me 
Um, if I'd have got the, had the opportunity to buy it at the original price, it was. I would have definitely bought another one of those. I know yeah. technically I could still. Yeah, you could. You could. Uh, it's never too late. Never too late. Uh, so what about uh, what about you then, Jake? Uh, is this, is this potentially be Bionicle? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not going, I'm not going with Bionicle. No, you thought you knew me, but you didn't. <laughs> I'm a I thought I did. individual. How dare you? I have many, many layers like an onion. Um, well, he does. He makes you cry every time you go near him, folks. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this> um, <laughs> and that's just the, that's just the smell um, oh no i was thinking more laughter uh, oh, but... sure sure that too yeah um no i would go with i can't remember exactly what the name of the theme was but it was a bunch of like mars style themes uh sets from like the 90s and they had these amazingly like in my memory, though, like sparked my imagination of like these like vivid bright colors on these incredibly black builds, and the aliens were really cool in them, and just like I got lost in that entire like the idea of that entire world. Also, I think the way that like technology is growing, I think we could do something really cool with them as well. Yeah, I think that'd be quite a good idea. Um, what about you, Stuart? What, what, what would you go if you had the opportunity to be able to bring back a set from the past? Uh, what would you possibly go for, and why? Well, if it if it was a Lego house set, then it would probably be the the molding machine. It's the most requested one, which is kind of weird, but it's kind of a super nerdy kind of uh, sort of theme. But uh, it. I, I was really pleased with the way it came out, and uh, and it's been the most requested one when people people come to the house. But if it was not a Lego house one, then I think uh, I think it's probably monorail. I think it's that's oh, what it's in there. Monorail. Yeah. He said the word, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> said it. Honestly. When the slide comes down on me or something, there. Yeah. <laughs> is it honestly? Is it the end word? Playhouse. Everything starts dancing around when someone says that word. It is, honestly, that is, that is something that, is, that was way before my time, and I would love to have something like that in, in a city, or just build something like that. It would be, oh, it'd be so cool. Controversially, um, I don't get the hype. I don't understand the. the I just love it. I love things monorail. moving. That, that's what I like about it. What, what does Make anything else move. Why? Why a monorail? Like, it just looks good. Does um, it? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It looks good to me. Uh, you like Bionicles. You can't say anything. Uh, it wasn't for Bionicles. And you wouldn't be here right Bionicle. now, Greg. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we know. Exactly. Uh, Imperial flagship says Infamous Conflict. That's a good oh, shout nice. as well. Anyone else got anyone out there? Um, oh, Bright Switch Brick, she says, uh, Mike Coney and Jago nabbed me as well. Uh, yeah, she, she, yeah, yeah, twice potentially i'm not sure uh <laughs> anyone else was anyone else saying out there as well um oh here we go uh, so i would say he's bringing back the simpsons i love the show and i still watch it uh one. every day having dinner <laughs> 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 do you hear me um uh, that's amazing i love that um pink wheels she says uh insectoids yeah i think they've got some good Ooh. minifigures in there Ooh. uh insectoid uh life on mars and uh well here, here's this thing so um if I was to bring back a set that was before my kind of time into being into Lego, um, I'd go for a Blacktron set. Um, I'd go for this, this if we set number 6954, and it was called the Renegade, which uh, was like the really big Blacktron spaceship, uh, modular in construction as well, which would be quite cool. But <clears throat> that's from a sort of a, a point of view of not ever being able to have built that set. At least back in the day, anyway. Um, but if I, if I, for, for for everyone else, if I if I could give everybody an opportunity to build what I think is the best ever Lego set, mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, um, I'd say bring back the 1989 Batmobile. Uh, I just still to this day, it's the best set I've ever built. And some other sets come very very close, like the modular construction site, and obviously one or two others. Um, but for me, really that never built Bionicle, Greg. Jesus Christ, come on! I've never, I've never <laughs> built Bionicle. What can I say? I did. If I want to build Bionicle, I'd build maybe some uh, some of those buildable figures that you can get now. I mean, they they are Bionicle pretty much, aren't they? 
Oh. Aren't they? I don't know. From, from an outsider's mean, point of view, I say that looks like Bionicle. It clicks together I mean, like Bionicle. You might get cancelled for saying that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so uh, I, I, one thing I will say that I love about Bionicle, and I always think this is kind of very important when it comes to uh, Lego lego stories and that and that is the the, the law behind it the story so so jake uh tell me what, what why 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 do you like bionicle so much and what is it about it that you like because i know uh scotty's out there he's a massive bionicle fan he used to uh, uh collect it quite a lot back in the day um but why why do you like it tell me about that by i was at the exact right age for bionicle bionicle came out and it was these it, well, Bionicle was a multimedia pro like experiment by the Lego company. So it wasn't just the Lego sets themselves. It was the fact that it had like this incredible backstory behind it. It was, you know, few movies were were movies and TV shows. It was the internet. It was uh, I got sets and they had. Uh, do you remember mini CDs? They were like. This big, oh, you remember, like, remember, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. on your PC, you used to have that little divot in your disc tray. That's what the little, yeah, that's that's what what they little CDs were for. That I yeah, blew my yeah. mind as a child. So they had like games yeah. and all sorts of things. It was the fact that it was a world built already, and it was like, here it is, explore it. Like, here is the island of Matanui, here is all the characters, here's everything you need to to like explore an entire world and find new stories because they were constantly developing like new things and adding more lore and and all sorts into it there's a really good podcast about the lego group called bits and bricks all right yeah, yeah. Um, which, that's, that's an official your, one is that official yes that's official it was podcast. commissioned by the lego group to talk about the history of lego and video games and as the podcast kind of went on obviously it took all sorts of angles of just technology and lego sort of how it's always moving forward the idea of education and play and storytelling and there's a episode solely about bionicle which it tells everything from the guy who sort of invented it as a as a concept and then pitched it to the lego house and lego group sorry and um everything it's it's yeah it's it's a it's a crazy crazy story it's it, yeah i think it is. i like from I'm what, what i know from the story because it is kind of like mythical creatures and stuff like that it goes really deep like the beginning of time and all oh, stuff yeah. like that mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. like it really goes in for it um does it is anyone else on the panel actually collect uh bionicle or wherever mm -hmm. into bionicle? what about you ian not even you no i mean we i wasn't really the right age for Bionicle. Um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, clarify yeah, why he wasn't the right age, because he's too old. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Because um, we are considerably older than Jake. Um, so, so, yeah, when it was a nice time for him, it was, it was yeah, we were off doing other stuff. Fair enough. Uh, there's Jake there with uh, uh, showing the, the Bionicle board game. This is how like multimedia it was. They invented an entire sort of like <laughs> board game, which is a little bit like like Catan and a bunch of other things. And it's it's so good. It's a, it's a it's a fun game as well. But yeah, Bionicle was just very special. Has a very special place in my heart. Yeah, and what about everybody in the chat as well? Did you guys and girls out there, uh, Sai, did you ever collect Bionicle? Uh, KO, was you ever into it? Simon, did you ever get into it at all? Uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like an intriguing one because um, it's kind of just something that kind of passed me by. But mm. uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it, 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 there is respect for people with Bionicle out there as well. Um, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's see let's see how the brick bods are getting on with their with their builds as well tonight. They're, they're doing uh, we're doing elves actually. Um, nice have a look. Nice oh, go, go, go. It, ladies first. It's like a, it's got a bat on it, and then it's got a bit at the back that makes the bat flap, which oh, is pretty cool. cool. <laughs> that's so okay. cool. I love that. He's quite good actually. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And really then the, the baddie in here, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's um, pulled her hair off then. Did uh, I pulled her hair off it? Balls. She's alright with that. She, she like a super mind. villain. 
Okay. So, I mean, she's just got really good colour. She's from Friends. Is it, she's not something out of Friends. She's okay. elves. Greg. Oh, sorry, elves. elves. Is it, how do you know she's an elves? Is it because she's got big ears? Elf ears, yeah. yeah. Elf ears, okay. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that frame piece. Yeah. Um, that frame piece looks good in that colour. I want those well. wings. I want those Look wings. Look at me. Oh, oh, that's good. That's, 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 that's cool. Is that, that that the air spirit? I, I don't know. It's, it must be the air spirit. Um, but like this, moulded head, beautiful. Mm. Ian set, brick built, still cool, but brick just not the same as this. I is, I'm sorry, actually Nick quite like the brick built one. This one is cool, mm. but this one's beautiful. Mm. Like, difference. Uh, but out of those... And that new giraffe, which one would win out? The, oh, the new what? giraffe? Yeah, the one you built. Uh, on oh, the new area. giraffe is pretty awesome. Yeah. 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 And then you've got the alicorn. Alicorn? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I think it's an alicorn. It's, it's called alicorn. Bits and Bobs. Oh, that's it. Bits and Bobs. Bits Thank and you. Bobs. Bits and Bobs. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Is that Juplo? No, it's it's Lego. It's, it's a just... child's imagination, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just not in as well. well. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's it's according it. to the law. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. you go, you go through the little mythic gate, uh -huh. and oh, then awesome. um, I think you've got some some snappy things. Snap, snap. Oh, yep. that's cool. Um, and I've oh. got a, a little cauldron. Um, you can see the little bat oh, thing cool. in there. Gone. Oh, oh. Cool. Back. Gone back. <laughs> and look, mushrooms. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you've got to think about mushrooms, haven't you? I love That's mushrooms. It. I don't That's know. They just look you like eat a lot of mushrooms, just out of curiosity. Do you know? Yeah, <laughs> not many, no. <laughs> they go all right on toast, actually, funny enough. The yeah. girls aren't keen on mushrooms, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, I like them. They're quite meaty. I don't know. How about you, Ian? Do you like mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like mushrooms. That's yeah. I mean. His eyes light up there. You should oh. see him last week with the chicken. <laughs> My God. Ian likes him because he's a fun guy. That's why. Oh, oh that, that is good. terrible. Honestly, that is, that is <laughs> the worst. Honestly, the fun guy one. Uh, anyway, talking to fun guys and, and being with us tonight, uh, Stuart. Uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. I know you're not feeling you, 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 you've got man flu. Um, yeah, I'm which, sorry. <clears throat> we, we, no, no, it's totally cool. Uh, we'd love to have you back on maybe again in a, in a few months or something like that. Uh, or, or maybe maybe someone else from your team because you, I didn't realize how small your team is. It's like literally you, Mike, and uh, and your new guy as well. You yeah, so you that cool. from Barcelona, yes. Yeah. He's only been with us four months, so yeah. And I was seeing him in a video the other day. Craig was on there as well. With it. We see him making videos as well, but uh, it's very cool. I love all the Lego house videos that you guys do. Love yeah, the house exclusive so. as well, and I can't wait for one day to come over there and uh, well, meet you again. I was going to say we meet you in person. It's, it's pretty easy to get there, so uh, no it excuses. Is. Yeah, it is. We are. I'm going to do it. It can be done. We have the technology. We're going to gonna walk there. We're going to start the Shepherd's Bush store in London, and we're going to walk all the way there. <laughs> I'm not going to walk to Finland. Can you imagine it? Uh, you can you imagine that? Uh, but it, it would be a bit lengthy, uh, Mark. That's trying to take two weeks off for that. Um, but anyway, um, Stuart, thank you for being here. Uh, nope. Thank you for inviting me. It was it awesome to. Study. See you at Bricktastic. Maybe, uh, maybe see you in Chicago as well. Um, I might go to that one as well. So. Oh, you might be going. Yeah, if you go to that one, I'll definitely catch up with you there yeah. as well. Uh, that'd be good. Bluffy, it's, it's, I, should, I should vlog about all the all the different times I get to meet Stuart Harris this year. That'd be quite <laughs> good. That could be like a new sub theme, the Stuart Harris theme. Uh, I'll have to make a little buildable figure out of you or something like that. Uh, there we go. Um, but anyway, uh, Stuart, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. It was great to meet you last week at Bricktastic. It really was the kind of icing on the cake for me. And um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, get well soon and uh, enjoy yeah. the rest of your weekend. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, yeah, Bye. take care, Stuart. See, See, you later. See you later. Bye. Oh, that was really good, wasn't it? How cool was that? Uh, that was pretty That was pretty wonderful, actually. Yeah, um, cool. yeah they're, they're, they're talking of wonderful things. Uh, I Minak, mean, you look like you've been building something tonight. Are, are, are you, I have. Uh, what have you been keeping yourself busy doing? So I've been building the cherry blossoms. So that's what I was building. Oh, How cool are these? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, ultimately, that's what it'll be for the Botanical Garden expansion, but look at these. There's, actually, there's two versions of this set. You know those little prongy bits um, that go with mm. sort of the sticky out, the minion hair? They're not in yeah. some of the packs, so you can oh. get a version with them and, and a version without. And a version without them. Oh. They, they, they are really cool. Mm. Apparently, those are quite tricky to put in. So that they just yeah, they are. 
Yeah. Yeah. They they are. But for me, it was brilliant building it and it looks awesome. But yeah, there's they're gonna be parted out, I think, in a little bit, like and then I'll add them to my botanical garden expansion that I'm mm. planning. Oh, very nice. Because uh, it's really cool. Because you you literally get it's like a lotus bat, a lotus uh, battle pack. Look how many you get. <laughs> a lotus. There's a there's a really cool uh, episode as well on the uh, on Lego botanical really nice. within the uh, mm. um, in that podcast. I recommend bits and bricks. There's a there's an episode on on the story of the botanical sets that because Lego wasn't expecting them to you know, be as successful as they were. It's sort of one of the, the more recent like super stories, but like how it started with like an intern was just like making them and brought one in to put on their desk. And then suddenly we started making them for other employees and it sort of got wildly out of hand. <laughs> but it's good though, isn't it? Isn't it funny how something like that has kind of just developed over time mm -hmm. and snowballed? Um, they are phenomenal, but in we we've seen um, them all over. Like they've been one of the most popular Valentine's Day gifts because they're a way to instead of buying a bunch of flowers, you buy a Lego set of flowers, and so you have an activity to keep you busy, but you also have something just just to display afterwards mm -hmm. for however long you want to keep them for. So you and doesn't want to kill them with hay fever, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got all that to come in a couple of months, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's already started. Yeah. Well, it can be horrific. Yeah. Really? It's already started. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. We, yeah oh, that mild weather, kind of like a couple of weeks ago. Like, I was walking around in my shirt and shorts. It was like, I like, have hay fever 24 7, 365, and I can already start feeling it being like a bit of a tough one. I'm like, oh, no, this is it. This, this is going to be the oh, year man. where maybe Jake Stud dies. <laughs> in the bag, come oh, don't say you, that. Man. That would be nice. We've got to get to Billund and, and walk around London for a bit first. That's very <laughs> We better, we better get it booked up quick, Jake. Yeah. Uh, I'll carry you around. What can I say? Uh, you know, medic. Uh, we need, maybe we should get right, support, we'll Turn my ashes team. into a Lego set. That's all you need to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do it. Bring so back Bionicle know. with him. Yeah, yeah. I put exactly. it in a Bionicle container. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, like wait. I'm, I'm, right, I'm putting that in my will. Huh? Where's my will? <laughs> Where's my will? There we go. Uh, I don't know. I've got a will saying around here somewhere. A little Lego will. Um, anyway, let's say, uh, talking of wills, let's have a look at this set. The, the, this set's come out of nowhere. Talking of wills? I, I want to know. I want to know what you lot think about this. I want to know what you lot think about this. Emily, postage stamp view, Salixgate, Eureka, Echo, and of course, Sio Connor. I want to know what you lot think about this set that's come out. So let's come out of nowhere. It's oh, this I know which one is. This I one. Love this. It's oh, it is. Absolutely stunning. It awesome, isn't it? I can't, I got it. I I it's the first Lego set I've looked at this year, and I'm like, I've got to have that. Mm. That's great. Yeah, it's cool. And we we had that. We so said that, beautiful. didn't we, Mark? I saw yes. it and I sent it to Mark, and I was like, Have you seen this? This is amazing. And he was like, Oh, I know, it's amazing. Yes, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Really cool. There's a good amount of purple in that as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and the trans it's in... trans ferns yeah. as well. We get trans ferns. The trans blue ferns. Oh, they look good. This is the first time I've seen it, so I'm getting really close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Campbell Soup orange wheels. As yeah. Well. I put but those then, in a... But those fern pieces work so well as alien plants when you see them like. Just yeah. in these colours, it's this is going to mm -hmm. be one of the best sets of the year. I'm, I'm just calling it out. That is going to be one of the best sets of the year. Mm -hmm. Forty-five pounds is a good price for it too, I think. Yeah, yeah, that'll go in the city, all right, Craig. Don't worry about and that. Who doesn't want a space doggo? Look at the space doggo. Space, yeah, one hundred percent. He's yeah. got funny. He's got a funny head. To be fair, the space, space doggo I, good to go with this one. I'm loving this. This is going to be just rolling around the city. Hey, cool. That's cool. about there. Uh, size so saying, what do you lot think about it? Come on, I'll give, I'll give you a shout out, guys. Uh, it go, uh, Eureka. Uh, it looks cool. I uh, love the flowers and the figures. Uh, <laughs> I love it, says Sai O'Connor. Yeah. And um, uh, Andy's saying it looks like something uh, the green alien from video uh, should be driving. 100%. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we need to... Oh, we should have had the thing I bring back. I think it's the best friend set. That's the thing I bring back, video. Video. Uh, that's that's bring back video. Yes, 100% uh, agree with you. I'll tell you what, though, Technic is coming out with some sets that look like this. There's no doubt about that. Not yet. Um, but yeah, we need video back. Mm -hmm. Video revival. We invite the friends logo. 
Uh, yeah, we did video. Oh, I think I think video ran its course, but I tell you what though, New Hashima does use um, uh, the the video boxes really mm. really well. Mm. Um, what's this got in it as well? What's all that about that part? What, what's all that about that section there? With what is that all about? Is that some sort of little? Mo- oh look, it detaches. The top section detaches from the wheels. I've not um, seen the back of this yet. Are you able to zoom in a bit, Greg, so we can see the back a bit? Does it give you the option to make the oh, image bigger? Oh, 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 it's like those oh. pods in Alien, isn't it? <laughs> the yeah. way they're lying there. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's it weird. Really end really way. Then, uh, I think this would make a really good mock, like a, a sort of a landscape, you know, maybe about, mm-hmm. I don't know, 648 by 48, and just do some sort of alien landscape out of that. Mm-hmm. Some people might call that a coral reef or something. Uh, but <laughs> I, said, I can't believe the coral reef's coming back next year, guys. Uh, it's <laughs> It's, it's going to be bigger, better, and scarier. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Scary. Oh, we, reefs aren't supposed to be scary. It's, we're going to have the deep sea as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sea Are you going to have those, oh, uh, those fish? Oh, uh, yeah. Anglerfish. Is that the one, is it? Angling fish. That's it. It's funny that. It's got a couple of anglerfish in it already. Yeah, one glows uh, in the dark. Yeah. Is, is that it? Cool? Okay. Uh, uh, I just think it's brilliant. I love the figures. Yeah. The mini, The mini dolls. Yeah, it's great. I love it's it. Yeah. Olivia, Olivia back again back. from wave one. Olivia comes back. So yeah. is, it, is this what it is, or is it the okay, character? So five hundred and fourteen pieces. Where, where is the five hundred and fourteen pieces in this? Uh, the set will launch on the first of April. That's no joke, folks. And uh, watch this space for more Lego uh-huh. news and set reveals. We've got all the dad uh-huh. jokes tonight. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Watch series online. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Olivia and Will I Am is in this. Uh, set. Uh, what's uh, oh, what are dear. these characters like then in in the friends uh, in friends? Uh, tell us, Carrie, because you, you you know more about friends than anyone. I oh, mean, actually, Mark. I have to defer to Monarch because he's always one step ahead of me on watching the series. My kids have not got into the latest Friends, have they? So no. So that's why it's interesting that Olivia's in it because yeah. she's from the original series. She so. Is. I don't know whether the, the new series hasn't been as popular and that's why they're bringing in the old characters to kind of try and get people into it. Maybe. Right. So, like, William's not one of the new friends, is he? He's just a side character. Mm. I think, yeah, and I think that's I think that's what it is. Um, because when they ended the original five that's Lego it. friends, they each had something that they were going off to do and Olivia was going to explore space so as they brought the space theme back, it made sense to bring Olivia back to have the space theme and her make conical sense. So that's why they brought her back. Um, obviously, they brought the others back. So bringing her back just made perfect sense. So um, having her in these sets. But the other character, um, I think, is I think they were in one of the sets. They might have been in the space set. I, I, I'm trying to remember. Um, but there's a few characters she had in the in the space themes. But sounds like yeah, I really need to get into into friends. It could be the new world of Bionicle for me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's but Friends is really good. Like I, I've always been a fan of Friends, uh, or friend of Friends. Uh, maybe that's the thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, certainly a part of the Friends uh, Appreciation Society. I love the hoverboard or, or whatever it is. Anyway, mm. that's uh, a cute build. That's so it's cool. Just good. I did that all round. This is a great. This is a really good set. I'm oh, totally fine. They, they, they actually look. They actually look like those bikes used to get in um, Thunderbirds that International Rescue yes, used to just yes. hover on. That's really cool. That could be like the, a, um, a transport. Is it so dark? Is it is it dark lavender or medium lavender? It's no, something, it's something, something. So the, the naming system of for Lego yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with dark lavender. And that's fluid. Yeah, <laughs> I can see but it's the orange. In there. The orange and the lavender go so well together. Yeah. Is this that orange right? is the new orange, isn't it? This is uh, this yeah. Yeah. Orange, the orange. Uh, uh, reddish orange, or as I call it, Campbell's soup orange, because that's yeah. all it reminds me of. <laughs> Tomato <laughs> soup orange. Yeah, oh exactly. God. There we go. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really cool, isn't it? I'm just I saying like that it. should be the, num- the colour. That should be the Brettnick colour, just saying. But it should just be Campbell's the Lego colour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I think it's, I'd like a pack of just the um, those leaf pieces in those colours as well. Because yeah. there's so yeah. many possibilities. Oh, imagine a, um, imagine a botanicals add-on pack with like just the elements. Mm. That would be. Do phenomenal. you think that they'll do a new? Uh, because they, they did these. Uh, not that. 
There we go. These things, these VIP packs. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love those so much. I reckon they will. I reckon they'll do. You think they're going to do one of those sorts of space ones? Absolutely. Oh, Why I not? Hope so. that would be cool. well, I mean, they've done everything else in space, haven't they? So they might yeah. as well just do, do one of those um, kind of Lego packs. Well, what's uh, been really uh, cool about the, the space line as well is the little aliens that they've done in this wave for Lego Friends are the same ones that are in the Lego City space wave. So they've kind of had a um, subconscious link between the two themes because the aliens are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, th I think there should be there should there should be a way of linking them all together. Anyway, I think that's a I think that's a really good idea. And, Go on, who's uh, out who's out there who's going to build out the the MCU the the LCU the Lego connected universe? You know how you've got like <laughs> well, I think heard of that Pixar theory. Yeah, sires si out there. Oh, yeah, that's that's you. They, they do interconnect already. There is a there is a thing. Let's have a look while we're on it. Brick post don't come over to brick post too often. Uh, but uh, they seem to be showing Lots off of shoes for sale. That's it, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> do you need to do shoes? I I I, I do show nice shoes. Size. What can I say? <laughs> uh, they're good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, need a new camera too, by any chance? DJI, yeah, DJI <laughs> camera. Anyone know? Uh, what can I say? It's good stuff. I don't I don't look at any dodgy stuff, is it? Uh, we've got Mario. Uh, yeah, um, we've got Lego March releases in a nutshell. There we go. Uh, hardly anyone wanted to buy those two sets, and uh, all Britain designed a program. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that, folks? We're all going to be we're going to be cursing it coming in a few months. Uh, <laughs> Please was... buy them, <laughs> yeah, especially when that mushroom house drops. There, that's going to be oh, gone. Oh, yeah, that that's going to go in it. That's going to go like hot cakes. That one, isn't it? That looks um, so much better. Harry, don't, well. whatever you do, don't be abroad when they when they're on oh, for sale. Yeah, Jeez, that you, that out there. In, in you won't forgive him for the rest of yeah. your life. Uh, let's have a look at the, these ones then. Let's, these, let's have a look at some new Bionicle sets, shall we? Uh, there we go. Uh, it's the, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Testing the Bionicle community, Greg. I mean, I don't think you're ready for them coming for you. Yeah, you think the train community is a, a tough one. Don't, <laughs> yeah. don't you upset the millennials. Like, they will... <laughs> You know, they actually know how to use the internet. They they will find where you live and they will they will slowly post you parts of Bionicle one part by one <laughs> until you're drowning in Bionicle. I do anything for free, they go, don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah. You wake up one day and have a bionicle head in your pillow instead of a horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean. Can you imagine that? I mean, anyway, what, what, what do we think of this? Then this is kind of like one of my favourite Spider-Man costumes. Uh, I'm just not sure if I'm really into buildable figures. I mean, I like the Star Wars one. This, this one's is quite cool. cool. It's got a cool, uh, cool stance going on. Yeah, mm. right. quite. It's not the worst one I've seen by far. I actually mm. quite like the the design. I think it suits Spider-Man because there's so much going on with the costume. I think you can almost get away with it, although the head shape is is still throwing me. But I, the the posability of it as well, and you've got all like the spider arms coming off the back, the mechanical ones. That is pretty cool. I quite like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I, I do as well. I think it, I think it looks all right actually. I just don't know why they did the head in that. Yeah, that head is weird. Head. <laughs> so the head shape like would they have done it in? It's Round? like someone's like pushed the head and squashed it. Yeah, it's like I think it's just roll. the photo, but it's it it yeah. Like there's no other like way you would have been able to do a yeah, Lego. See, that looked, that, that it's not big round. head. Yeah, they are. They're big. They're, they're, got, they're a strange shape. They're just an odd shape. The heads. Uh, let's have a look at another one. Here we go. Well, this actually works for the Green Goblin because he said he's that. Yeah, that's that, that's quite cool mm -hmm. as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, Brick yeah. Skew saying uh, Ollie saying from the small picture uh, on my phone. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the TV, mate. Uh, we're in HD, you know. Uh, that Spider-Man looks quite cool, he's saying. Uh, <laughs> and uh, these actually are really cool. Happen. I'll make it happen. Really don't you worry. Really cool displayed as well. They'd be really yeah. cool on display. I think that's a good. I think it's a good one. I think uh, I don't. Didn't he use um, hop, the Green Goblin? Just trying to think what, he, what his weapon of choice was. I'm thinking. I'm getting mixed up with the Hobgoblin. Pumpkin the hob bombs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hobgoblin uh, used pumpkins, didn't he? I know they both did. They both they? pumpkin bombs, yeah. Why are they use why are you using pumpkins? He's using they the are, they're the gold ones there. But oh. they're like they're not like these are like based on like the movie, so they weren't pumpkins. Oh, okay, the so they weren't proper they were, pumpkins, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
and it was quite good. I tell you what, uh, you know, you put a tail on him uh, and you got yourself like a sort of a scorpion or so, something like that, or the lizard. I thought you said a towel. I thought you said like, <laughs> like, 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 like he's just got out of the shower. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you want a buildable figure that looks like he's just got out of the shower. Honestly, uh, thought he's a towel. So yeah, Alex, Alex is in the chat being like, like the, the goblin looks naked. Greg's yeah, like, a give a towel. <laughs> it wouldn't be the hobgoblin. I know it'd be, but it wouldn't be the hobgoblin. You'd add an extra letter, would you, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. I mean, oh. wait, wait, wait. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Uh, it's trying to be serious. Come on, you lot. Uh, they have, <laughs> they have on they'll make the uh, other spider um because they've made um Tom Holland's one haven't they hmm. I wonder if they'll make the other two as well the other two don't really have like other than coloring they don't really have anything mm. overly distinctive like this is a very specific yeah. spider-man this is uh, from the, from the comics anyway, this was when uh, Spider Man and uh, the Doc Ock sort of combined like brains. They this was the the amazing no, superior Spider Man. That's what this suit is based on. But like the other two don't have any sort anything sort of like distinctive about them other than one's light blue, one's a slightly darker blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll exactly. let them just be on the cover. Yeah. So yeah. just be on the box. <laughs> um... <laughs> so I said, he thought he said, I said tail, tail as well. It's tail, tail. Uh, the <laughs> tail of two cities. Um, See, everyone yeah. thought you said towel. What can I say? Yeah, it tail. It would be, to be fair, they do sound very similar, do they not? Uh, tail, uh, towel, there we go. Uh, towel, Mark, tail. you could get this one. You could get this Ninjago. Uh, I could. It's, it is, it's adorable, isn't it? It's just so cute. The, does, the, the build style is just so fun mm. and instantly recognizable as well. Mm. Mm. Uh, Carrie, are you, you going to be getting those houses uh, or whatever yeah, they are? Shops, I, I think these ones are. Yeah, they're more shops than houses. Mm. I, I, I kind of want it. Um, I like a building. You like so, I might, I might be placing an order soon to get that. Okay. Don't okay. know what I'll buy though. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, pretty, I'm sure there's something cool. we want. There's lots of things we want. Well, there's always stuff you want. This is, do you need it? But you're going to get it anyway, I suppose. I want, um, I want the holly bag, Greg. Want it. Sorry, uh, Mark. I said I want the Animal Crossing poly bag, Greg. Oh, the Animal Crossing poly bag. Let's have a look at that. Is yeah. that is, uh, do we have a picture of that? Do we have a decent picture of that? There we go. It's not. It was about it, really. It should be easy to get hold of, actually. Yeah. Who's hoping it's easy to get hold of, guys? Some of them aren't. So oh, no, no, poly bags can be a right pain. I get. I have to get yeah. some geezer gets me them from Germany. Yeah, uh, I was, was going to say because he's in the. I think you're in the same group. Oh okay, yeah, I think we are in the same group. Spider Man one in the UK, like the hardest like poly bag to find ever like yeah. it was ridiculous mm. i think oh yeah i think i know the one it's the one that comes with the tap is it the bridge sign in yeah the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The tower bridge that's it it's the tower yeah. bridge one i've got a couple of sorry sorry yeah, Mark. Yeah, i know yeah. i know it's not london scary. bridge come on well, i'm gonna completely <laughs> change it to london bridge don't worry about that i'm just i'm, I'm waiting for it to come one with the tower bridge <laughs> shall we get when you towel bridge we put a bridge in the towel have you got a filter <laughs> 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 when you go to the back of your room when you go to the back of your room you look like you've got a moustache look you get a moustache build on his face look there he goes there he gets a moustache appear on his face and then there we go. Du, 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 du. You go. Have you got a lift? You got an elevator there or anything like that? Have you? Have you got an elevator over there? There we go. <laughs> 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 it's that lovely table again. Honestly, you get those caravans. I love it. it. Uh, we've, got yeah. the, we've got the minifig uh, building. You got anything on display, there. Jake? You don't want Greg to see? Oh, he's oh, got a nice corner sim. I like that. No, yeah. Not a bad bit. <laughs> Nicely got up there. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice mic as well. I can't tell what it is, but it looks professional. Oh, there he is. He's Fantastic back. blinds as well. You know, you've got you got blinds. Oh, there we go. Oh, I feel like I've just had my ears stroked for some strange reason. Uh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does it it's lovely oh. uh, there we go got brick picks out there I didn't really see too much hey. of brick picks actually other than she come over to me she's going you got one of those bricks uh, I went do you mean the, one of the uh, London Bridge bricks printed ones he went yeah uh, so I went and gave it <laughs> one. And, did uh, you think about my voice uh, well, I know, <laughs> you, you, you talk like that you do there we go Jake's got one there there we go 
Yeah. I never saw one of those gay folds ones. I wish I got one of those. You've had to the go to me, Greg, to get that one. That's a go. I, 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 I what? Sorry, uh, Mark? You had to go. They had a meeting at Brit Tastic. Mm -hmm. The first the... gay fold meeting in the UK. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, very good. Very good. Um, and uh, yeah, I, don't, I've, I, I, I didn't hear about it. I didn't hear it on the Tannoy, actually. Uh, which it was supposed to be announced a little bit better, but it was uh, <laughs> it, it was sadly a little sidelined. I was chatting with Freddie. Oh, right. we, did, we 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 started our discussion dead on three o'clock. We're chatting away, and then suddenly the tannoy came <laughs> over, and she goes, uh, "Can anyone, uh, everybody, uh, at three uh, three o'clock today, uh, Freddie Charters is going to be uh, doing a meet and greet?" And I was like. Uh, it's three minutes past three now, uh, Tanoi lady. Uh, so she got that a little bit wrong, but um, but anyway, let, let me show you. Show, these are the ones I got. Here we got, I got Hugh, uh, from Brickset was there, and he Aww, uh, he gave me, my, he gave me that one. Hugh very nicely next time I see him. Oh, yeah, yeah we've got a Brickset one, but it's a slightly different color to that. He might be coming on, That's I'm nice calling soon. Oh, Hugh, uh, from Brickset, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, last game, there. Band of that, there that technical of turtles one. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember yeah. who told me that one. I That's that James Gage's band. James Gage, of course. James Gage is going to be coming on soon, folks. You didn't get the yeah. Christmas version. We got the Christmas version yeah. as well. Yeah, we got both no. versions. He's got a Christmas one as well. Oh, is he now? Uh, oh, i got to ask as well. Who's who's Jan Bayer? Yeah. Did you not? Yeah. So I thought this person was dead, and I thought this was like a tribute to them <laughs> for like a good 48 hours. <laughs> Um, he was there. He was yeah. there. Yeah. I'm intrigued to know. Well, yeah. yeah, he was a uh, basically. He's a, he was like one of the originators in like a fall engagement and basically like, any oh. anything that like the Lego community is like Lego group has touched as far as like a fall like engagement and uh, like lugs and all these sorts of things. He was the person who sort of like started it all. Sort of, I think, twenty so years he... ago, something like that. He is the Lego AFOL coordinator, so he he is the big guy in charge of all of the like AFOL days. Um, it's kind of the lug bulk. That's a bit of a weird situation, but he's still kind of the Lego contact for that. Mm -hmm. So all of those things that you know lugs rely on, and so basically we were given the tiles so that they were all over the place. Just to kind of suck up to him a bit. Yeah. <laughs> we get the amount of people that said, Who is she? And I'm just like, um, no. Oh, it's a gazer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would have been helpful. Yeah, you do assume, you would assume beforehand. Yeah. I mean, you do assume it is a woman. I just thought, I love Jane B. I was like, Who is this person? I had no idea. They were, I didn't even Google it. Uh, that's, it was so well, weird. Some people did think they're deceased. Yeah. All oh, right. I never yeah, thought yeah. they were dead because they said, oh, I, lo I love them. I don't, don't normally say that for dead people that have deceased do you uh, i love them doing sort of tribute i did love them or something like that i'd probably put but uh don't stop loving <laughs> wow so, someone dies you're just like no yeah. i did no, love them. Yeah. Love yeah. Love yeah. Them. now i'm gonna go put my goblin in a towel <laughs> a physical <laughs> the physical sense of it all uh but there we go anyway let's have a look at i've got some sig figs as well did you not all get your sig figs uh, did you get uh sig yeah i got some new ones oh did you got okay what ones, did, what, what ones did you get have you got them there uh, has it got them there? No, I don't oh, know. no, I haven't got them here. No, no, oh, yeah, no, no. Here. I haven't unpacked half the stuff yet. Have you not? Yeah. Hey. Still got a box downstairs. Yeah, my oh, box I unpacked the thing. Bag. It's still in the suitcase. It came home. Yeah. Have you not? Oh god, I've got to pack it. No, I ain't had time. I ain't got had time for it. Mm -hmm. Mate, mm -hmm. not at all. Oh, there we go. Look, let's show you these. We've got these, these six figs here. Let's show, let's show you these ones off. This is um. So uh, this is uh this is Kaz Kaz Mocket. Uh, she, she popped over, and. uh me that which is nice it's got a nice camera oh i like that torso with the is that galaxy yeah, yeah. explorer on it as well it's galaxy mm -hmm. explorer there oh. we go the one and only looks good doesn't yeah. it uh then you got um then you got this one as well polar bricks he's he's like well what one do you want do you want the one with the ginger hair on it uh or do you want uh the, the one with the polar head and i was like well it's, it's no contest there mate i was gonna have the polar one <laughs> i mean uh that's good he's got a cool torso as well i like that yeah. uh i like that a lot that's pretty cool uh, then you've got this one as well. Now, for this one, the uh, the band of misfits, um, he said, Do you want would you like the brick or the minifigure? I said, Can I have both? And he went, All right, then. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> don't get what you don't ask for. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, there we go, love that one. He even said, What head would you like on it? I said, The one with the tongue hanging out, please. And he went, Yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, which is good. This is Mad Lib. Mad Lib's very cool. I like this. This actually does really look like Mad Lib. 
uh do you know what i mean and uh oh, that looks cool yeah. yeah such a cool so cool i mm-hmm. love that love his love We've got twin mad libs in ours yeah you got twin oh. yeah because ian was all upset he didn't get one so oh <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> ian, ian got one as well this is nice isn't it it's got twins there we go this is something to put in the sea or you could you could do, do, do a mirror or something like that who knows oh that's a great oh. idea Oh, there you go. See, uh, there, this is Ko um, looking all mischievous. He, is, <laughs> he said this is his latest incarnation of yeah. this one. We've um, got the previous one. Have you got the previous Who's one? As well? the yeah. Oh, you got the OG. Okay, we've well, got yeah. the latest one. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it in the towel uh, though? Is, is it what? Sorry. Is it in a towel? Is it in a towel? <laughs> <laughs> it is in a towel. You, you'd be amazing. The different things that you can do. <laughs> Use a cape for yeah. people's towels up like that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, yeah, it's his tail. Come, yeah, that's right. You have too many hot dogs. Uh, that is, yeah. Anyone? Uh, yes. that is. Um, but yeah, no, I like this one, but they are cool, aren't they? They, they are really yeah, cool. I, I love all this sort of thing. Oh, this, one's, this one's got uh, red eyebrows as well. <laughs> it was like that. It was, but it was lovely meeting Andy as well last week. Yeah, it was, it was really, really cool. Yeah. He is. He's really cool. genuinely a lovely guy. I think. Yeah. I think he was quite shocked how nice we all were. Uh, that was weird. I was like, well, what do you think we were like? Nice. Some of us were, Greg. Maybe some, but not all of us. <laughs> well, I think he had his favourites, Mark. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I know. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carrie, tell, tell, tell everyone out there about the adventure we had when we was uh, we went into Wagamama's, and then they said, uh, well, "Anyway, you, you can you can tell us the story." We, we went into Wagamama's. They said it will be a. I don't know how long a wait. It will be a bit of a wait. Hour, at least half hour. He says yeah. there's another one if you just go straight so she said go straight she said it several times <laughs> she did she? just go straight did we find it so the problem was we didn't go straight so we didn't go straight because <laughs> yeah, no, no, we clearly didn't so we walked past the tram and then down the road but if you'd have actually walked through the tram and kept going yeah I've, there was like yeah. a small literally alleyway. through the tram it as it was passing you had to like phase through it then you'd have yeah. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like a, a ghost like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, welcome, like Scotland. The, the birds were great. So it was fine. Oh yeah, and those chips as well. Rosemary oh, those chips. rosemary oh, chips. chips. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so good. Go there again. It was yeah. good. But we were. I tell you what. I got to be honest. Where we actually ended up going to, which was. Um, uh, what was it? Something burger. Uh, honest, uh, honest, burger. Honest, burger. honest burger. It was brilliant. It was a great venue, yeah. wasn't it? Like it was yeah. perfect. Honest burgers, burgers yeah. rosemary yeah. fries are yeah. to die for. And I would have known I wasn't was invited. Well. The music no. was banging, as Frankie would say. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Carrie, what were you doing with that on the chair? I just couldn't get on the chair. It was tall. <laughs> it was a tall chair. It was fairly tall. But once you was perched on it. Yeah, it was a stool. Oh, it's a stool, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. stool. To, to be no. fair, the, 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 once you'd perched yourself on it, it was okay, wasn't you? Yeah, the, just took me a little while. It's a little while. Yeah. So where did Jake go instead? If he, he wasn't in the cool crew. <laughs> he got into a wacky yeah, I wasn't invited. Yeah. Where was you? Well, to be fair, it was it was a last-minute sort of thing. And uh, where, 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 Jake, what did no, you end up doing on uh, Friday? <laughs> It was Friday night, wasn't it? I'm thinking it was Friday night. Call it, uh, but of course we was. What, what did you do that night? Paul was little Jake had, had, some, had some mediocre nachos in the Premier Inn. No oh, way! Oh, you made it in the Premier Inn! No. No. Oh, okay, no. Terry was like, no, no, I'm not going to eat it now. I'm not going to eat McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go Wagamans. Because okay. originally we were going to go to McDonald's and just do yeah. cheap and cheerful yeah. and just but have no a No one wanted to go to no. McDonald's. No. Yeah, no. We're like, no. Not <sighs> Greg's more than McDonald's. It's like, okay, fine. Greg's got a lot of money out of me over the weekend. I know that much. What about you lot? What was your what was the favorite thing that you ate over the weekend, Ian? Uh it's got to be hot dogs, surely. You guys. <laughs> you guys hot dogs. I mean, Carrie, did Carrie, did you actually go back for the second one? Uh, we tried, but they would run out and I was sad. I know. I went fair, over there twice really and good. they said, No, this this couple called the Brick Bods just come over and cleaned us out of hot dogs. Like, <laughs> do you know what I had? I had a tuna sandwich because of you. Uh you missed out hot dogs, it great. was horrid. But anyway, uh, and then uh, Gaz, uh, what were you, so Ian, what was your favourite food over the weekend? It'd be a hot dog, surely. I mean, you, you, um, all over those sausages you was. Was it the panache of vegetables? <laughs> it it oh, was yeah, not the panache of vegetables. <laughs> um, I, I I would say it, it was the burger on the Friday night. Yeah, the burger was good. 
Yeah, oh, that burger was lovely. Uh, Frank that, yeah, he was banging. He was. Yeah. Every time we said, oh, wouldn't it be nice to listen to this song right now? That 10 years <laughs> later, it came on. Yeah. It was most bizarre. It really was. Yeah, it was uh, cool. I think I think it was Frankie's playlist. Uh, <laughs> well, all right, you guys. What was the what was the ni- nicest food you had over the weekend? Or the uh, <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I think it's probably the burger as well, actually. That was a good one. Really nice These one. burgers sound amazing. I wish I, I could have had Jake, one. They were, they were. Come, come with us next year. <laughs> you're, if you're in, you're in. Uh, Jake, what, what was your well, other than nachos? I mean, I didn't. Sound- I didn't have any good food. I starved all weekend because I wasn't invited for really? any of these meals, apparently. So oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, good stuff. Good liquid fuel, in, uh, you know, just saying. Uh, and what about you, uh, Mark? What was the nicest thing you had over the weekend? Uh, oh, definitely the, the Honest Burger. Was so good. We had an Honest Burger. That was it, yeah. They, they never lie, those Honest Burgers. They really don't. Uh, oh, there we go. Tech, he was that he was a dirty stuff out. He was that night, yeah. The 3 a.m. Papa John's. Uh, oh my different. oh god, 3 a.m. Papa John's. Oh. 3 a.m. Papa John's really does hit differently. It, it's a good one, it oh, does. sounds quite good, actually. <laughs> Could have done what, though, yeah, when you when you when you got to have it, you got to have it. You really have. Um, uh, I think, I, th- I think, uh, I think we should have a, have a look at uh, some um, some pictures. Should we have a look at some pictures, uh, Sue? Um, and uh, the Craig said the best thing he had was a pint. Um, is that because it was free? The on Sunday the... Mackey D's in the yeah. morning. That was quite, that, yes, that hit the spot. Yeah, Mackey D's was all right, actually. Yeah. I quite like that. And I've got an extra hash morning. brown as well. Uh, yeah. There we go. We've got Jesse's. The extra hash brown was well worth it, though, wasn't okay, it? you got to do it. you just got to do it. It's yeah. energy. It's energy. Got to go for two. One's not enough. Slow release energy. Slow release energy. Got to go. Um, <laughs> KO's out there. This is Tech. Uh, 3 a.m. pizza. Oh, my God. You should try it, KO. Honestly, it's great. Uh, hey, Tech. Uh, Jake's out there saying uh, 100% Tech. Uh, we've got pretty big issues to do our own thing. Uh, we'll have to form our own uh clique uh, next time. Everyone's welcome, folks. Everybody was absolutely welcome. She's saying that she well, didn't even stay in the Premier in she was in herself, uh, in a <laughs> Airbnb. Uh, anyway, maybe we're all there. I don't even think Craig, he wasn't in the Premier in, was he? <laughs> <laughs> Sunday was, also in <laughs> was everyone invited who was in the Premier in, Greg? Were they? Yeah, everybody could just come along. What can yeah. I say? Craig, Craig complained that he wasn't invited, but yeah. when he came into the Premier in, he quickly ran past us to avoid talking to us. I mean, exactly. Would, you had exactly. No <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, it's all. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at some pictures, shall we? Let me just uh, get rid of uh, that because I've got, got to stop that <laughs> screen and present another one, shall we? Uh, let's go for something a little bit more Windows based this time. Uh, and uh, anyway, let's have a look at some pictures. God knows what we're going to see on here. I can't remember what picture we showed. People will be sending them to me all week. Don't forget, folks, any time of the week, do feel free to send me your pictures as well. Uh, it's always fun. Maybe next year, Trevor will be uh, maybe displaying or staying there for the weekend as well. Uh, anyway, what could it, it will be carnage next year it really will be uh Ooh, anyway uh this was this was sent in from andy seston obviously this is uh march the first set there we go he's got the uh oh he's got the corridor set that's nice oh, he's got the yeah. mclaren set as well i uh, love that mclaren so much i know i'm gonna have to get, get that, that. I was on yeah. the phone to McLaren earlier on as well. But anyway, it's a story for another time. Uh, there's got the speed <laughs> champions there as well. Uh, Park for it around the back, will you? Nine, one, nine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I actually can't, can't, can't get one on my drive, actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, 76920 <laughs> as well. We've got the full GT. We've got the Millennium Falcon in its nice little midi form. Uh, and we've got one of those houses as well. Kerry, Kerry, they're going to sell out of those any, any minute now, apparently. Uh, they're getting like hotcakes. Uh, and then you got. Uh, you got I, I'm happy to let them go. Yeah, uh, I'm not interested in the top. You can have like, mine, Mark. Don't worry. I don't even like it, to be honest. I mean, what is it? It looks like a bunker or something. Uh, I just find it funny how all the Star Wars fans are getting really excited about a hallway. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite scenes in star wars actually to be fair i i, I really like this set uh like i'm, I'm totally gonna get it um, yeah but it's a hallway isn't it it's just it a, hallway. a hallway yeah it's, it's a hallway, hallway. <laughs> it's just like saying but but what is a bionicle what is a bionicle character gods of matanui they are the protectors of the elements greg oh, okay. how dare you they oh, did it in jargo elements got it there as well but uh, jake have you say? never thought what you really wanted was a bionicle character in a hallway. <laughs> I mean, I've got some space out there to be fair. I could, I could do it. 
You could do. Yeah. Re Reenact Lego sets. That'd be quite a bit. There's a thing. There's a video there. Mr. Beast, maybe. <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, Blocks Magazine's come, uh, coming out. It should be coming out next week. And we've got the, the red telephone box. I think this is the, the most... Uh, this Lego idea set just seems to be everywhere. Uh, at the moment. They're, they're yeah, stealing your brand. Be... Yeah, I was going to say, they are, they, did they ask That's permission? Why no, that's why they put it on it. I saw Graham in the week actually, and uh, gave me a heads up. Um, but yeah, there we go. It's <laughs> did you also uh, get the clash a heads up? <laughs> is it? Uh, uh, yes, and no, uh, anyway, <laughs> doesn't it? I like it, it looks really good. Uh, I think Regent, I think it's Regent Street, that is. They've actually picked the London Street, which is nice. Uh, anyway, this is good. This is uh, this is Chris Chalice, who apparently holds the record for one handed brick. Uh, brick stacking, I think, or something like that. It was a bit yeah. strange, but true. Cool. Uh, Guinness World Record Challenge for our lug, uh, the uh, Sacramento Brick Builders or SAC BB. Uh, you want to call them that? <laughs> Lego Group USA is a great inspiration. Uh, there we go. Uh, they look like they're trying to work out what they've got to do yet. Uh, it don't look too sure. Is short. there a, an official Guinness World rep there? Is this an actual like title someone holds? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think Chris Chalice yeah. holds it. Chris Chalice holds it. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, I feel like cool I, I feel like I need to, I, I feel like I need to challenge. <laughs> oh, Chris dude, you there. totally should do, you <laughs> totally should. Chris Chalice, uh, Jake Studs, there you go, there's your challenger. Uh, let's get a Guinness World rep down on London. Jake, I've seen you build, I don't, no, we're not doing that on London calling. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, it's definitely a good one for a video. Uh, there we go. So, what Chris Chalice? There's another, another one from him. This is uh, oh, wow. some Lego set from. Uh, 1975, I think. Anyway, uh, there we go. Um, uh, shell that used to be a thing, that was a thing. Mm -hmm. like, I had one yeah. of those, mm -hmm. yeah. um, but there we go. Uh, that's quite cool. And uh, this is uh, talking to Craig actually. There's one from him as well. Um, he's kind of uh, building Ooh. some giant cube thing, it's not new Hashima, um, but a new that's, style of that's building. Gonna be amazing, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. Uh, this is uh, this is Connor. Uh, Echo sent this uh, sent this through. Oh, I yeah. love yeah. that build so much. Mm. So yeah, it's really cool. His builds are cool. fantastic. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there he is. And uh, we've got stuff going yeah. on the back. Who was the lady in the background? She's a uh, London Jackie. 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 Oh, Jackie's amazing. Yeah. And she, Jackie's yeah. so cool. And she's uh, she features on uh, the Brick Bods' latest video. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, this uh, <laughs> uh, this Craig and uh, I just thought of a picture that's going to come up in a minute. Uh, let me see. Look, Craig we caught him smiling. That is. Uh, <laughs> did he actually know that picture was being taken uh, oh, at the time? Uh, his build he, is. He looks quite nice. Phenomenal. Really smiles. Doesn't he? he looks quite. Like, there's, there's, there's guys. <laughs> Guys, there he is. Uh, no, oh, no, Colin Baker. Uh, there we go. And, uh, what? There we go. And uh, let's have a look down here. Look, look. Got Batman stuff going on. Oh, that's down the, there. The, waterfall. the waterfall, the waterfall yeah, was stunning. Really cool. That waterfall uh, was yes, amazing. I was, I was happy with just guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can imagine him saying that in his Yorkshire accent. Uh, yeah, there's there so many hidden details in that mansion yeah. as well. It's really, really, yeah, really, it's, it's really just cool. amazing. Like, know, this is so good. I know, I know. Guys, do you know what? Uh, do you know what mm -hmm. car he had in that garage? Um, no, I don't think I saw inside the garage. Oh, Craig, what car did you have in that garage? <laughs> <laughs> You not it really was uh <laughs> anyway uh there he is there it was nice to see him and uh the poor person that's just innocently looking at building you're just like you're i don't know what it is i don't know what he says on his neck uh let's go to this one uh this is oh, high tea toys. One. yeah Mr. johanna Mr. and Mark. and mm -hmm. uh <laughs> and uh water again another nice waterfall uh what can i say and uh you can actually, yeah, folks, if you want to know a little bit more and see a little bit more of um, Craig's uh, Craig's mock, the Wayne Manor, and it was pretty amazing. It really yeah, was. Really uh, check out my live stream uh, from it, the mini tour. Uh, Scotty was there, and uh, he was doing a, a fine job as well, uh, walking me around it. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Really, mm. really, really, really cool. Mm. Uh, there we go. Oh, blah, blah. It looks like an accident that's about to happen over there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there we go. There. 
Uh, let's move around. Who's this geezer here? Is it Mar- Marky Mark? Oh, He's all, looking all happy with himself. And, yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was having the time of my life there, dude. We all there. was having. This is the thing. Yeah. Genuinely yeah. having the time of our life. Um, I still reckon you should get a tram in front of that mark that moves. Oh yeah, it was, really I know, I know. Uh, honestly, is the next do? thing I am adding to it is a road, and then I do want to kind of speak to. <laughs> Oh, what did you say? Yeah. About how it, can... Please do not touch the models. Photos are welcome. Uh, yeah. There you go. Looks all right. So they gave. So um, when we were at, um, I can't remember which event we got given those, but I just that kept was, them because I'm like, say, yeah, they just gave us those to put in front of a model. So I just kept them and just used them nice. again. Look at him. Look right, I, I love the first Great Western bricks from Steam. Uh, no, that was from Didcot actually. The Didcot Railway Centre. We were actually able to buy the um, oh, yeah, the traditional nice. first Great Western brick. <laughs> well, how did that get there? There we go. It gets <laughs> everywhere. That does. I like that. I like quite like the blue that one's in. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's me and uh, Steve. That's Echo Bricks. That's what Echo Bricks looks like without his great big hat on, uh, which is nice. <laughs> What's going on in the background? I haven't looked up there yet. Anyway, he looks like he's trying to. Uh, nick some purple bricks or something. Uh, I didn't see you over in the ceiling in a photo. (laughs) They watch this. Oh, come on, excuse me. I was not stealing. I don't think he gets a comment, you know what I mean? It's it's good for stats. Uh, what's uh, Carrie? I I can't believe I didn't even see you over there. Uh, amongst all that purple, I mean, the number of kids in that brick pit, I'm I'm all right staying away. (laughs) 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 Notice there's no uh, kids in that photo though. Like it's all the adults playing with the brick bit. They're all stuffing them in their pockets. That's why. Yeah, that's what they are all going around. It's doing it. Uh, it's like a great escape. Uh, all right, cool. Can Let's you not add... whistle, Greg? Yeah, I can whistle. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I can whistle. Don't worry about that. Uh, I thought we discovered something new in the Greg Cannon. Then I was like, well, no, 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 no way to flex that really? you can't whistle. I did an impression of a whistle, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. That's the glow in the dark uh, habitat. Um, and Kazzy's favorite one. Actually, if you want to know Kazzy's favorite one, uh, watch the vlog tomorrow. It kicks off at five o'clock. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Nice little hook. Uh, who's this one? Blimey, who's this geezer? Uh, he could code his hair. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, oh, what, 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 what's going on there? What are all those, Carrie? Uh, those music videos, what are they? Yeah. yeah. You must have can, you, can you remember the music videos, Carrie? What? I learned something. Uh, okay, so you've got... Uh, right, who's this? Is that Fat Boy Slim? Fat yeah, Boy Slim, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of choice. There, there is a connection, by the way. Christopher Walken is in the new um, uh, the new June movie, June 2. Uh, this song references that film and Christopher Walken's in that as well. Just oh. Just oh, throwing that one out there, folks. Just throwing that one out there. Uh, anyway, all right. So we got that one. We got Fat Boy Slim. That's the easy yep. one. What the heck's Beastie going on here? Okay. Beastie Boys, yeah, correct. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, that's BTS. BTS, yeah. BTS, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Stars to break free. Looks like, looks like you put a pen on that one. This one yeah, that's <laughs> an official face. I know it is, but it's just the, the picture's a bit blurry. <laughs> this one looks like a horror movie. This is NSYNC. <laughs> NSYNC. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. Right. I'm Carrie's doing, doing well so far, Carrie's isn't she? Uh, yeah. Hang on. White Stripes is the bottom one. Yeah. Uh, Seven Nation Army. I can't remember what this one is. The, that one. Something Go. No, the left one. Um, that's Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Wrecking ball. Something right. Go. I, I remember you saying hey, Go. go. Yeah. Um, and then Darth <laughs> Funk on the top. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Well done. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you need to do sledgehammer though. I just, I just got to throw that one out there. You could do the train, do the train thing. Anyway, uh, great shot of you there, my friend. Uh, really, really cool picture. Oh, if you zoom out, uh, zoom, you, see if you can spot Ian in that last picture. Ian? Yeah, yeah Ian's in that picture. Is that Ian there? No. Does it look like no. Ian? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's Ian. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can see. Is that is that Ian there? Oh, he's in Crystal. Yeah, is that Ian? Oh, it's like where's I mean, he's, he's wearing the same top today, is he? He's saying, there he is. It's the there green is. police brigade. There he is. Uh, there we go. Oh, very, very cool as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Simon Scott. Uh, I don't think that is actually. Uh, this is KO. Uh, look here, Robert. This was phenomenal. Yeah. This was so good. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't tell me how many minifigs are in there, though. I'm, I'm intrigued. I like to know how many bears. Yeah, you know, they are just. 
Does anyone know the answer to that? Because we were sure. came to them on oh, my no, stream sure. and we were we just got lost instantly. I'm, I'm sure he knows. Uh, I know I wouldn't. Anyway, I just uh, lose count. There we Pretty troll this one as well, isn't it? There he is. We'll have a dapper. There we go. There's Andy in the background there. That's oh, look, it's Frankie. Frankie? It's Frankie. <laughs> uh, they, 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 they look like, the three of them look like they're working on a deal there, don't they? Uh, yeah, what are, what are you trying to meet? And you'll never know, Greg. The purple bricks were currently. I've got a well kept jab in <laughs> yeah, the heart. That's where they all went. Interested. <laughs> purple bricks. There you go. <laughs> all right, let's picture. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I like how it's displayed. Yeah, it's good. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, no Aww. strings attached. It's almost like they're pretending to like each other. They do. Yeah, no. I do like each other. Yeah, okay. Charlie <laughs> Kenny just for the streams. Whose foot's that? That's what I want to know. Whose foot's that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not mine. It's just random. It's it's just just a mine. random foot there. <laughs> there is just a random foot in the picture. Who put that there? It's photoshopped in, surely. Uh, anyway, tell, tell us what, what, what we're looking at here. What what, what sort of uh, what, 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 yeah? Tell, tell, tell us what we're looking oh, at. It's, it's Lego dreams. Elves? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the number of times someone said, "Oh, look, it's Lego dreams." Uh, so it's Lego elves. It's about twenty of the sets what, what, all yeah, stuck man. together. Yeah, we we love Yan as well. <laughs> Apparently, was Yan? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's so enthusiastic about Yan. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, he, I, I met Jan and he, he he's was like, it's like, he's like, he's like, who's Jan? And he's like, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what, what are we looking at here? Lego elves. Lots of Lego elves. you got yeah. color, color, and more color. Oh, oh, like friends to me. A rip off of Vulcans, it is. Is. <laughs> just saying. Anyone know what a Vulcan look like? You know what I mean? Uh, just saying. Uh, all this. Who's that? That's a goblin. Oh, I thought goblin. that was I thought that was Ian. Sorry, I Who thought said they like goblins. Who was it? Was it Frankie? Wasn't it? He said he liked goblins. Yeah, well, he, kept, he kept describing it as goblins yeah. instead of elves. Is it? Yeah, is it wearing a else. towel? <laughs> yeah. Is there another goblin wearing a towel? Was it? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it could have been. I mean, goblins got a wash as well. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, just yeah. saying. But anyway, uh, all right, oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Then let's oh, have a look at the next nice one. Uh, who's this? Oh my word! What's going on here? Who's he looking at? He yeah. posed for our photo. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's just seen Craig. He's uh, looking at uh, Ian and Carrie, being like, "As soon as that camera turns off, it's such a shame. They just hate each yeah. other." Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's it's nice is it's it hard to keep up the act. Yeah. Who's that geezer there? Oh, that's, Ollie. that's Ollie. I told him that's he's Ollie. going one way or another. So. All right, let's yeah. have a look. Let's see what we've got here. All right, what we've got going on down here then? Who's that? Oh, yeah, that's Polar as well. So, yeah, this is, yeah so I've got Polar and KO. Yeah, nice. must be that's there not KO. Somewhere. Who's that? No, that, that one's Tech. Um, that's Tech. All right, that's yeah. it. Okay, got pretend. Uh, who's that meant to be? Uh, Isn't that's... that you, Greg? I'm the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Uh, I think, I, am I in there? I don't think I'm even in there actually. Uh, I'm probably one of these drawers or something like that. Uh, <laughs> one of, out going one of hello. in the closet. Let's <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to the next one. Who's this lot? Okay, this is uh, this is uh, AV, isn't it? AV, mm -hmm. yeah, very well lit set. This yeah. was stunning. This so was cool. amazing. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Uh, the old dream machine. There we go. Look at them, Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call, Gaz? Who are you gonna call? Um, a plumber, no, a, no, no, no. a plumber. What's a plumber? Uh, I like that. A plumber, a plumber. Uh, we're gonna call a plumber. Oh, blimey, I wonder what I was looking at. Then, <laughs> oh, so, yeah, hey, that was let's carry. <laughs> and uh, I think Ian needed a sleep. I think yeah, Ian, that was funny. <laughs> he, he, he didn't he, get one to be fair. Gosh, we didn't let you sleep, did we? The stories that we can't tell, oh, but, but if we could, that, we would. Yeah, so, if you move that, down, that can you see the bikini clad skeleton? Yeah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there it is there. Oh, I, don't don't Stuart, we we I don't either. We should have asked Stuart while yeah. we were here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we could have asked Stuart. Stuart. So why did we he, win? He didn't want to be biased. <laughs> well, I tell you what, they did something. We, I did actually we, ask him at the show. We were the naughty he table. He did admit Harry. he drank a lot of red wine. Who knows what was going on at the time? Carrie, can you tell people how we actually ruined someone else's set? Because we built something. It was terrible. And then we got another tables one. And they actually did a really good job of it. But tell, tell us how we ruined uh, the, the, we the, the set. The we made it awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We made it amazing. This is in the shot as well. Yeah. I tell you, you can tell us we will. You, we'll have to get that, that signed one day. 
Chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken everywhere with this. Uh, is that it? I no, I think all of these bottles have been to direct our okay. sex. Gary's actually got an Audi sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you imagine that? Oh, here we go. Look, anyone in their intestines here. This was great. This 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 yeah. was my favorite ATAT, I think. Oh, yeah, there's that yarn again. Uh, or Jan or yeah. John, where his name is. Um uh, silent and might be Anne, might be a silent J for all we know. There we go. Intest it. This is really clever, really nicely done as yeah, well. Yeah. It's got joy in everything, yes. Uh <laughs> Polo's out there. He's saying, uh, he said, Did you download my pick of our build? I put it on the Google Drive folder. Uh, I think so. I think so. I think we did. If I, if there is anything, I am I'm not showing tonight. I've got a lot of pictures to get through here, uh, Andy. Um, I'll show them next week. I think we're going to be talking about Bricktastic for a long time. I took uh, four hundred photos and I showed you all really? on my stream, and it took two and a half hours just to go through the photos of Bricktastic. <laughs> oh, God, I see, yeah, Twitcher, they do they milk it out, folks. They really do. Uh, yeah, but they know to be fair, content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say this though. Uh, <laughs> Unusual ta uh, tale on that. Just say, and uh, <laughs> did you say that, Gary? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit. It's like catches your eye a bit, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on swiftly. What's going on in the background? Let's see what's going on in the background. I can't see that. Hell, gathering around for what's going on there? Uh, that's what happens when someone Ooh, drops. Shit, okay. Someone drops an expensive tile. They're like, "Quick, get it." Uh, <laughs> Anyway, moving on quickly. <laughs> there we go. Oh, steampunk. This is yeah, this this was was phenomenal. So oh, my gosh. Yeah. This was so good. Yeah, I love the cool. color combo as well with these. Yeah. I mean, it's just a like gray on it, is there? It's, just, it's 35 brickling quarters she did for that. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Oh, there she, is there. she hasn't added it up how much it cost either, which is probably best. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, it really is best. To when I did my tax yeah. return last year, I was like, God, I spent that much, I couldn't believe it. Like, literally, I could bought a car. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this is me and Freddie. Uh, hey. honestly, uh, Freddie, really, really nice guy. Um, do you know what I like to see there next year? Just throwing this out there, Bricktastic are listening in. Uh, I like to see Math Matthew Ashton there. Uh, just saying, mm -hmm. you can throw that one oh, out there. Very cool. Our time met him. Uh, it'd be uh, very cool to get in fact. He's not be ready him. for you, Greg. <laughs> I was say, he's not, not ready. ready. <laughs> I'm ready for him. I don't think I'm ready for him. Uh, guys, the legend <laughs> Ashton scared of me. I made I made that filter for the set he designed, and he, he won't acknowledge me, so I think he's scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, here we go. Uh, Jan uh, pronounces Jan. Uh, or Yan, maybe I don't know. Uh, I guess yeah. is the equivalent of John in Dutch. So can we just call him John? Oh. Just call him John. There we go. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. Anyway, that's Freddie. Uh, really nice guy. Uh, he'll be coming on London calling one day soon as well. Don't worry about that. Uh, this is uh, Lady McBrick sent me this. Uh, slightly strange. Slightly strange. A uh, little bit of a German <laughs> thing going on here. Uh, a Lady right. McBrick frog. Yeah. So, yes, you don't have a frog version of yes. yourself, Gary. I, I, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was kind of getting to it, but anyway, we'll go straight to it, shall we? Sorry, uh, no, I couldn't. I couldn't not see it. How, how are you attempting to to avoid the frog people in the photo, Greg? What was your tactic there? Well, the tactic was start with a mini. <laughs> no, you then, started then go too wide. Then go <laughs> slightly stranger because then we can no. you know, look at the brick, uh, the the brick head, uh, and and then you, you got you got what I thought was a fish. <laughs> uh, but actually, no, it should go down. Uh, it actually turns into some sort of strange frog thing. Uh, what is this about? Is this a phenomenon that I know nothing about, or what? What's going on? It's just some frogs, I assume. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I think it's it's just Jean Paul Gautier. Uh, Jean Paul Gautier. Uh, frogs, a frog fix, or a, a frog sick fig. frog. Yeah. <laughs> they're quite, you've got medicine for it. Sick frog, they're quite what, Ian? Fraggily. Like a fraggle. Oh yeah, like, yeah, oh, they are oh, pretty fraggly. Yeah, like fraggly okay. and, uh, yeah, I, 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 that, that was a, it was a bit fraggly. On, uh, on perfect normal term that I use daily. Mm. Croak your, croak your gears away. All right, nice. I like a good sick fig. I like that good sick fig. Right, anyway, moving on. To the next one. What have we got here? So Madlib sent these through, and um, oh, oh, this uh, is Paul's, isn't it? This yeah. is the one with Marble Arch. That's it. It's Marble Arch over there. There it is. The um, uh, wall technique in this is really, really cool. Yeah. I love the way he's done the brickwork because mm -hmm. it's just not flat masonry at all. It's, it's if, not. If you scroll down a little bit from where you are now, oh, you see yeah. the pirate there. Yeah. Oh, hello. He, he includes a nod back to his previous mock. So his last mock was a 
a big pirate island. Yeah. So that's why that's there. Yeah, that's oh. cool. I like the tree. Yeah. I like the tree. I like the tree. Oh, you like that tree, do you? It's a good tree. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it looks like a tree in real life. It, it does. Like it does. <laughs> empty. Real life. Yeah. Uh, what, are we, what are we looking at here? Blimey, oh, this is a lot, isn't it? That's yeah. Paul's. Um, oh, yeah, that's all his oh. Look, he got three minifigs instead of just the one. Yeah. Oh, I like the pirate one. That's good, isn't it? Lego House Eiffel Day 2023. He must, he must have gone there last year. <laughs> uh, Brick Tastic 2023 as well. Uh, there we go. Oh, the, so the he, Bristol he, he show. co-organises the Black Country Brick Show, which is the mm. next show we're going to. Yeah. Yay! And it's you should all go. It's a very good show. When's, when's, yeah. when's, uh, I don't know if I'm going to go. I could go. It's only two hours away from me. Yeah, I could first go. weekend in April. Yes. We're all going to be there, Greg. That's no so joke. Just no joke. Again. No, I, don't, I don't even want to go there because apparently the bacon sandwiches are good. Just yeah, but you've got to display for that. Yeah, you don't get bacon sandwich. Yeah, you have to. Well. You, you have to display <laughs> something to get those. Well, I could display something. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It might yeah, not well, be Lego. Yeah. Though. You might not get bacon sandwiches for it, mate. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh my god! You need you to wear more than your towel. Yeah, I'll just throw down the towel. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and not so show your tail. Okay. Uh, no, please don't show your tail. You really will get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Up, up in the black country, I'm not sure if you would. That's regarded as a suit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, next up, go. back to the Romans again. There you go. There you go. That's marble arch. The end. I was talking to Paul about this as well. He was saying them. Yeah. Um, he wanted to do it so it was a Roman city to because actually saying that they're not actually as clean as they was made out to be. So he no. wanted to try and make it look a bit more. Romans are filthy. They were. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's not trying to reflect is... that as much as he could. How do you get them bricks? How do you get them bricks? Uh, bricks they are right? issued out for displayers. At the, um, I'm talking about show bricks. Each time you go to a, um, you display at a show. Yeah. They give you what's known as an event brick just to signify mm. you displaying there. And so what Jake's showing is you essentially can make towers and builds from them mm. and people use them as their brick badges to display yeah i've so, got a little uh little badge i can pin mine to so it's yeah, nice. so cool oh, yeah. such it's a clever cool. way it's of good. doing it it's got london bridge bricks on there i'm so, so proud seeing you with that on there mate I, honestly so one of the best things i did i have to get a load more now for uh mm. uh chicago um but there we go chicago, I, I, chicago. Yeah, chicago. chicago. it's uh, chicago goal time um <laughs> yeah I, when, when, do you want to name that accent you were trying to do i, there, don't know. I think it's kind of like <laughs> it's just, it's just stuttery italian uh <laughs> that's worse than your southampton accent <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mouth. uh anyway this uh well, i can see a london bridge bricks one as well look. just really? where, out. where where down uh, the bottom look just to, no down the bottom further down just to the right there look. just sticking out just a corner, but I'm pointing like you can see. One. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's there. Yeah. It's there. Yeah, you never. Yeah. You normally go put things like that on what that on display, and they're not really, you know, it's not impressive. Or <laughs> no, there we go. You haven't heard it yet. Yeah, Greg, oh, you haven't made it on yet. There we go. Oh, back there. There we go. That's the Roman one. Oh, it's another angle. Yeah. Like this. Might, might like this. It's got all good pigs. Yeah. Pigs alert. Um, and a goat. There we go. <laughs> so he's wearing a towel. They were, that's all they're wearing the towels. So he told you it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> it's wow. moving on swiftly. Oh, there we go. I just wanted to throw this one in. They say it's available now, folks. People are getting old of me. They said, How did you get hold of this set? Wait, wait, boat does not float. <laughs> I just thought Isn't that, that as well. Pieces? Exactly. Well, that's like, I'm pretty sure float. it would float. It's two it's, pieces. It's Actually, full I reckon of holes it, anyway. That is not I'll tell you what, float that's that gonna be a short. <laughs> I'm gonna make a short out of that. I'm gonna show I'm gonna prove it does float. <laughs> Uh, if you threw yeah. that in a pool of in like a little tiny bottle of water, I'm pretty sure that would. I'm not sure though. it would float actually. No, what it's, we said, it's, okay. it's a two, it's a one by two round one with the two holes in it. So, all right, let's go. Right, let's do this now. Let's do this now. Right, <laughs> right. I want to know what you lot out there. Oh, yeah, the Emily Brickerpix, <laughs> Ko, uh, Echo Brick, Simon, especially you, uh, and Gary, all the way from Ireland. I want to know if you think that boat would actually float because we could do that live. Uh, <laughs> let's go around the panel. Let's see if we find out. <laughs> Uh, Ian, uh, before you overthink it, just tell me, will, will this boat float or not? <laughs> All Lego floats. It's plastic. Right, could, is that a yes or a no? Just say yes or no. So yes, it will float. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. With this. Uh, Carrie, uh, does this float your boat? <laughs> does it float my boat? Does it um, float your the, boat? The little boat doesn't, but the whole set, the set as a whole does. The set as a whole does. Okay. Yeah. But you don't think it's going to float. Will that boat float? 
it's going to float. It's going to float. Ian's saying Ooh. it will float because everything floats. I don't know. Uh, uh, we could we could test that one as well. It's another theory. Uh, Gaz, <laughs> will the boat float? I think it will at least flip over, if not sink. But we'll yeah, see. That's what All right, talk about standing on, like sitting on the wall. There is that. Yeah, yes, it, no. this was a, we were talking to a politician yeah. in the chat. Well, <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. It's, so it's I not, think the it's answer not the Titanic, is guys. It's not the Titanic. <laughs> I think the answer is. Have you seen Fabuland? By the way, it's really good. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I want your manifesto think... for the next general election, Gaz. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, oh, I see. So oh. I think Coke Zero is actually quite good for you. So. <laughs> is it? All right. We'll, we'll, we'll take that as a that, that boat will not float because no, it's going to flip. It, I think that bit could fill up the water and All right. bring it down. Actually. All right, Gaz. Let me ask you this question then will the boat float or will the boat flip is it a uh, flipper flip. or is it flip. a floater <laughs> it'll flip <laughs> float oh my god we, we something won't flush yeah. uh jake brown, is it a floater it? or is it a flipper oh jeez bruce forsyth this is the reason why he, he eventually he popped he saw this and was just like you know what? i can't compete anymore can i um i don't think it will float but i know that this floats because i threw this in my bathtub <laughs> which is the, the lego 2k boat <laughs> so i went there love it all right so you don't think it will uh i don't Mark, think it'll float uh how many years have you been building lego sets for now <clears throat> Um, not, <laughs> not that many <laughs> in comparison to how many I've been alive. <laughs> About a couple of years. Well, you've only been building Lego sets for two years. Come on, you've been building longer than that. A couple of years, so that means like you know, three or four. Oh, three or four. Okay, all right. So uh, your four years of experience of building <laughs> Lego sets. Is this a floater or is it a flipper or is it a sinker? It will. It will flip, but I think it will float. All right, so it's a flippy float because it'll turn upside down and then it'll have enough buoyancy to float. Just honestly, yeah, okay. When people right. ask what happened to TV, I hope they point to this and be exactly. like, yeah. Yeah. This, this is, is the reason why TV yeah. died. This is, the, <laughs> this is the pivot, folks, in, in history. This stream, it really is. Uh, Sai si saying it's a floater, uh, Brigger Pix is saying it's a flip and sink. Uh, uh, Simon's saying, uh, vote guys, and uh, yeah, vote guys. Uh, guys is going to make Lego great again. Uh, uh, so saying it will flow. Echo Bricks is saying it will flow. Uh, KO is saying, oh, we gave what he says here. Uh, I tested it and it and it floated for some time. And uh, <laughs> I hope you don't refer to Lego. Uh, no, it will not, says Gary. Um, Polar Bricks <laughs> says no. it's a floater. Uh, Steph Waffle says, well, it might not float the right way up. That sounds like yeah. a flipper to me. Uh, that is some flipping burgers. We've got Ryan Taggart out there. He had to endure these conversations last week with us. He really did. Uh, I'm going to be regret signing in right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Ryan, do you remember last week? You can't forget it, I suppose. But you sat. Ryan was literally on the left side of yeah. this picture. He was. Um, Ryan had the pleasure of being on our table. I'm sure he enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> He'd never been anywhere like it in his life. Uh, but anyway, uh, Trevor's saying a flipper. Good stuff. There we go. Things we've got to find out. Anyway, we'll find out in the next week or so, folks. Is it a flipper, a floater, or a sinker? Anyway, uh, let's go. We can make that a thing. I had to make up a catchphrase uh, live. Uh, anyway, we've seen, we've seen that. There we go. Oh, what's going on here, Mark? So this is all three of my junk build modulars. So I was originally going to bring just two of them, but I thought I need to bring all three of them and actually put them together for the first time because I had two corner ones and one in the middle. Um, so yeah, these are all appreciations from our friends in the in the chat and in the community. It's so sweet. Oh, Carry me and get one of those. Them off. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I took all three of them that I built over. The, the period of well the cafe corner was well over a year ago but over the period of a year of displaying um and i took all three of them together and i put them together for the first time at the event <coughs> i hadn't put them together alongside each other in a street alignment up to that event it looks so really good mark yeah. thank you well yeah but i loved it, it and people were very very complimentary does it float uh, <laughs> yes yes okay <laughs> 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 The mills uh, plate causes it to sing. <laughs> exactly. He threw in a standard there. There we go. Toys and that. 
so yeah uh, this is this is friends this is friends square and i this is the first ever time i i lit a mock-up and when i say i lit a mock-up it literally is um very very basic lighting that takes literally a minute yeah, to basically. do but it just gives such a good effect to the buildings mm -hmm um mark it looks great like it's really, really cool yeah, uh it looks fantastic says uh eureka and uh size so saying uh so cool mark it is it's honestly it's really nice mark um thank you and uh i've got a nice shot actually of um I managed to put the camera the camera i was using folks is really slim and um it basically is, there's a nice shot of it coming out uh panning out i think they uh, like to call it anyway very cool um <clears throat> This has been sent in from Medman as well. Uh, looks like awesome he's into his set. friend stuff. One of, arguably one of the best sets of last year. Gaz, what was it called again? Do remind us. That's uh, the Temple Escape, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Temple of the Golden Idol. That's it. That's uh, it. And there we go. We've got that the, the big ball one there, which is very, very cool. Uh, great set. Really is. This is in uh, Salix. He's sent in his, uh, his row plates, what he's building at the moment, which looks very oh, nice. It's so cool. Yeah. Nicely I done. Love Likes his bikes out there. It's a nice um, blue as well. There we go. It was a nice blue there. Look at that. Is it Made in Missouri, isn't it? I think, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, that's Bricktastic carpet colour. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know very true. Yeah. Bricktastic carpet colour. It actually blue. is. It is. It absolutely is. It. it absolutely is. Uh, and uh, God, God, can you believe it again? I've got it's, it's been crashed on me. It is. It must be. I tell you what it is. I've worked out now. What, what, uh pictures uh absolutely uh make this crash anyway let's just get rid of it for a second uh I'll just oh, it's dark as you salix has confirmed it's dark as you oh it's dark as you ah. okay let's go so, salix, yeah guys jeez just... oh call yourself <laughs> lego fans you bunch of really don't ask the colorblind uh. one here to tell you what colors lego bricks are <laughs> Uh, let me just uh, just removing that. Just bring it back in again. Uh, we're there. That way we can work around it. Uh, there we go. And uh, that, that, and that. Oh, this one might scare a few people. So, folks, do look away, uh, especially uh, if you're scared of hot dogs. Uh, anyways, anyway, let's bring it in. Show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Carrie can't wait to see. You. Look at her little face. Oh my god. Uh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, 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 <laughs> let's start over here, shall we? Okay. <laughs> I love this picture. It's about the fourth one. They were really good hot dogs. It was. They were very good. You wait till you get to Ian in a second. Just know, at least you can't see in my gob. At least you've got the hot dog is that you can't see down my bloody throat. What's going on here? You look like you've had practice, Ian. <laughs> I, I've had that before. Many yeah, yeah, but you have, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, look at his fingers as well. Like, he's kidding, kidding. <laughs> that, that's called a master technique. That's what that is, Greg. Yeah. Even he's holding the in the background. He's looking. He's like, what's going on over there? Um, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back back to our yeah. other game, folks. Uh, oh, hold on, I've done it again. Oh, oh, clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Let's do that. Yeah, you can come um, off that now. Thank you. Right. There we go. <laughs> uh, there we go. We got uh, we got Dan and Sai uh, from Two Gay Folds as well, yeah. and of course we've got Stuart there as well. Looking, uh, oh, everyone's looking very happy with it. There's Stuart with his uh, yellow trainers. Yeah, uh, those trainers are really cool, awesome. awesome. Check out that carpet. That looks amazing, doesn't it? See, the dark brick carpet. Exactly. To that, hey, hey. uh, anyway, um, let's go there, 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 like that. Uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought Dan had done a mischief then. I thought he slipped on there. Uh, but... <laughs> he might have, he might have, yeah, he might have slipped. He might have just at that second. There we go. This uh, Tom, go. uh, to oh, Tom, keep, look at Tom. That's keep such dreaming. Cool there we go. Oh, this, this was this was really cool, right? So, to Tom, uh, was over, uh, with Trevor. And we're just chatting away. We're just chatting away. And I said, I said, I said, I said to young Tom, I said, uh, I said, Tom, have you ever met a Lego designer before? He went, no. Uh, I mean, would you like to meet a Lego designer? He went, yeah, I'd really like to see a Lego designer meet one. I said, it's one just here. Here, Freddie, come over here a second. And he did. He came over and he signed <laughs> it for him. And it was like, oh, it was just cool. such a lovely moment. It really was. Oh. Uh, it was very, very cool. And uh, Freddie, obviously, top guy, really is. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. really cool picture. There we go. It's a nice picture, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's a nice picture. That's good, isn't it? That's cool. 
looks good. Oh, look, he's got he's got a hot dog and he's uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, that, that it's, it's, it's hot dogs and there's hot dogs, so they're right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there he is. There's Trevor. Uh, really nice guy. Trevor yeah, is is just an absolute yeah. diamond in real life. Honestly, yeah, he's just definitely. so nice. As is Tom, just so you know. Yeah, Tom is, is Tom is so nice, and Tom gives really nice cuddles. Like Tom really is. Yeah, Tom is lovely. It's great chat with him as well. This is it's, uh, Tom and uh, and Trevor meeting uh, Stuart, which is nice. Very cool picture. He is in his little element there. Oh, yeah. this is Bricker Pigs. Kerry uh, gives good hugs as well. If you haven't yeah. had a Kerry hug, you need one. She does. So she squishes the life out of you. She does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. There's Kerry. That's it. Oh, look, he looks a bit umpy over there, doesn't he? That geezer. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, you keep your hands away from Tom Baker. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> he is, it? Probably I not thought it was because Ian truth, just mate. farted. <laughs> no, no, that, that's the look of someone saying, "Oh, is this Harry Potter?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that actually happened a lot. To be fair, no, did it really? Yeah, yeah it was, like, oh, it's great. And someone was like, "Oh, look, that one's Harry Potter." <laughs> I think we've got glasses. What are you talking about? Exactly. There we go. There's Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> did the impression of Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, this is, who took these pictures? I'm trying to think that. Oh, it was you guys, wasn't it? You guys, you took these pictures. Uh, yes, we have a chat. Trevor. Chat Trevor. <laughs> we, we have a you chat labeled there. them. Trevor. There's Mark. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Trevor's videos. There we go. You took that one. Uh, we've got Trevor's videos there as well. There we go. And uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. This is the oh, there you go, yeah. you. so much. So no, there we go. This is actually Belleville. Lego. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, Belleville. Blimey, Emily. Uh, there's a question uh, for you there, Ian. It says, "Do you like your hot dogs dry, Ian?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> How to kill this? How to kill Harry, the Try and control yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wasn't me. Well, I was just talking about hot dogs. I don't know what you lot are talking about. <laughs> you really oh, yeah. killed Gaz. Hot dogs, uh, Ooh. lethal weapons, they are, folks. Honestly, hey, putting the given dry, put in the wrong hands. I tell you, <laughs> all right. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's the old burger. Okay. Oh, look, it's this, on the wall. This was amazing. This one, yeah, this so, was so cool. I just spent so long oh, looking at this yeah. as well. I didn't see that. I love Lego Store mm. Manchester. Where's Miss Piggy there? All right, um, I'm honestly, this, I, this went for about 14 years as well, didn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. a really long theme. Mm. <laughs> it's just the, the way she's captured sort of the movement of the scene. I just mm -hmm. thought it was amazing. Yeah. Like the way she's tripping over. And, yeah. It's really cool. But you look at all of the elements and how well they scale to Belleville figures, like the plate <laughs> and the food. They scale so well to, mm -hmm. to the characters. It's really cool. There we, are. Oh, oh, we all love this, didn't we? This. Yeah, this was so cute. Very cool indeed. Oh, shoes, yeah. actually. I like the camera. <laughs> Here we go. There's a bit more. This I, this is my favourite part of it. This part here. I like this. I thought that was quite really yeah, clever. This that was a nice cool. piece of art. Yeah. Mm. Uh, here. Oh, I think me and Dan have been here for like cool 10 minutes breaks. just looking at all of this. Mm. Yeah. I love the, um, was it? She's got slightly uh, different scale Lego bricks there as well for them to be playing with mm -hmm. Lego, which is really cool. Yeah. It's the Modulex. Yeah. Mm. So there's your Modulex in there. It's um on the oh, shelf as well in the, in the little girl's room. You've got the Lego minifigure, and then there's a mini doll as well. There's a TARDIS in there. I can't yeah. believe there's a TARDIS yeah. in there. There's a ATAT -AT as well. Just to the left of that. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Good spot, guys. <laughs> These are definitely models that every time you look at them, you would find something new. I don't yeah. think you'd ever like it's... run out of finding stuff. I mean, just it's look awful. at the shower curtain. Like that's so cool. Yeah. That's a really good way to design that. That's clever. It really works, isn't it? Honestly, it's just so cool. And yeah, I think she's going to go to the Black Country one next. So uh, I can't wait to see this again. again. Yeah, that's a proper yeah. mirror. That's practically a proper mirror. Mm -hmm. That is. 
There we go. Putting your feet up. Nice. Oh, I like that. It's a nice balcony as well. But it's the way, Greg, it's the way it's been dressed. So if you go back to the bed, like the way that the fabrics are just being sprawn over the bed, it's just so realistic. Like, mm. you know, the, <laughs> the way it's all captured, it's brilliant. It's really yeah. good, isn't it? Oh, look at that. TV, what's going on down here? Got a video. Someone come there. Oh, look, here we go. Do you recognize that, Gaz? Ah, oh, yeah, the air I call an idol. Then the, the, the Lego stuff. sets on top shelf as well. Yeah, there you go. Oh, You've got yeah. your friends set. Oh yeah, that's nice. They've done that oh, well. and if you look at the if you look at the curtains, Greg, they're actually the watch straps. Yeah. Oh my God, and yeah. she has the watch strap on with all the links that she bought that she didn't use for the build. She oh, made a watch wow. out of all the watch strap links. Oh, I love that little robot as well. That's really cool. Nice tiling down there. Mm. This is definitely it's just bursting at the seams. Top mm. marks of great talent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's, de it's definitely up there with yeah. some of the top Look ones. Look at the thing, <laughs> um, the little Brillo pad. Oh, that's what that was my favorite in the kitchen. In the kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just two pieces to make that yeah. sponge. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. it's, it's totally a Brillo <laughs> pad. There we go. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Oh, Love it. Love these bits. Awesome, very, very cool. Uh, that's me. Uh, again, guys, and these through to me. Me talking to Freddy, which is kind of cool. Me talking to Freddy, which is lovely. Uh, and me asking, they're some of the best questions, uh, honestly, mm -hmm. folks. Uh, the little kids, and I wanted to know how you get a job at Lego, a lot of them, and uh, some of them just wanted to tell me that Lloyd was their favorite uh, minifigure in Ninjago, uh, which was very, very cool Aww. indeed. Uh, loved it. Um, and that's it. That is, that is the last of the pictures. So thank you everybody for sending those to me this week. I think we'll leave it on. Uh, leave it at Henry, shall we? Uh, which is, what, <laughs> that is Henry so, the like, Hoover. That is, I want that micro build. I want to recreate that micro build. I love oh, that so much. Honestly, one of one of the stars of uh, of Rick Tastic, uh, Henry the Hoover. <laughs> that's in the carpet, yeah. apparently. Yes. That, yeah, the yeah. carpet was great. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, that and the blue carpet. Like, you can't get away from that blue carpet. I literally dreamed that blue carpet. It was a very, very cool carpet, <laughs> and it was a very, very cool uh, brick convention. It really was. Yeah. It was uh, unbelievable. Um, any last thoughts about Bricktastic uh, brick bods? Let's go around and ask people, uh, talk to people about that, and then we can start sort of uh, widening the stream down a little bit, I think. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, what, what did you guys, uh, what, what's your sort of lasting thoughts about Bricktastic? Uh, brick yeah, I, it, it was all right. I think I'll do it again. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah, it was okay. what, was that, what would you give the hot dogs out of 10? Oh, I'll, I'm definitely going back for the hot dogs. I'm going to have three <laughs> next time. You can have three. Yeah. At the same <laughs> time? Yeah. Or? Yeah. 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 Hey, yes, not dry, though. Please say not dry. <laughs> no. I know. Leave the dry oh, ones for Ian. Or with any dairy products, I know. Uh, oh, what kind of there. stream are we on right now? What's <laughs> happening here? Dan, you got to rewind 10 minutes ago. Uh, 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 Ian was showing his dynamic uh, actions for eating hot dogs. There's a picture of hot dogs, Dan. You'll appreciate it. Go back about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, he's yeah. in <laughs> Yeah, he was the original recipient of that picture. That's why we took it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you, was that purposely done? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, no comment. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest. No <laughs> comment. I, I feel that you left a big gap between saying he was yeah. the original it, recipient. What um, the recipient? These jokes just write themselves, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I don't know. Is it, there must have been another it's, chat group. It's or after something. nine o'clock in the UK. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> while, while Ian gathers his thoughts, um, Gad's got any any last thoughts on uh, on Bricktastic? And uh, check out the survey, you lovely. Yeah, lot. I think I need to try a hot dog next time. Uh, yes, it's <laughs> um, but... day one for me. <laughs> I'm going straight yeah. to the hot dogs. I don't care about setting up anything or anything like that. Yeah, uh, check uh, out yeah, the survey. No, folks. Don't mind the vendors, the hot dog. No. Yeah, is that no, it's really... for the hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I know. Really loved it. Really good. It's great hanging out with everybody and meeting everybody as well. So. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. I think you actually meant what you were saying then for a second. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Jake? Uh, what about you? Any last sort of passing thoughts about Fantastic Twenty Twenty Four? Uh, yeah, it was just it was just such a really good show, and thank you to everyone that came up to my mock and like interacted with with me and let me do my little silly AR magic trick and 
guessed all, quite... all the things. It was really, it was really nice. It was really, really good your fun. magic trick. It was, it was, it was really cool to see actually uh, that in action. I was chatting with uh, Kaz. I was kind of watching what was going over. Um, <laughs> it's really good. Cool. No kids loved it, mate. They they loved it. Uh, yeah. And it was like, oh, it's not there, but it is there. But it's not there, but it is there. Mm -hmm. um, it was really cool. And that's what uh, that is what uh, technology is all about uh, as well. And uh, it certainly gives a new perspective on Lego mm -hmm. stuff. Um, what, what about you, Minark? Uh, any last sorts of thoughts on uh, on Bricktastic? Yeah, um, it, an amazing event. Like getting to hang out with so many people. Um, you know, you you just can't replicate that. Like we we have a friendship online, but when you're hanging out with people and can't seeing stand you all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hate a lot. Yeah. No, it's a, it's amazing. And if you think it, genuinely, if you were thinking about going along to Bricktastic and you were contemplating it, I would highly recommend it um, to go and see 100%. Like, literally, if you can do the weekend, because literally you will need two days to yeah. see everything. But mm -hmm. um, it's just phenomenal. It's, it's amazing. So 100% doing it again next year. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, we, uh, I'm going to go up there again next uh, next year on the Thursday. Anyone here want to go up there on the Thursday, or are you going to maybe yeah. stay a day yeah. later or something like that? Yeah, uh, Thursday to Tuesday, <clears throat> I think. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I don't think I'll stay till. The, well, I'm definitely going to take the time off for Tuesday. That's mm. all. Um, I definitely. I think Sunday night coming home was actually not too bad, actually. But I didn't stop. I was just like, just get me home uh, and unpack and uh, <laughs> and then catch catch, uh, catch some sleep. Uh, which is really cool. Anyone out there got any thoughts as well out there in the chat? Let me know. Um, oh, and if Cy, uh, if Cy goes, we all he, that'd be <coughs> awesome. Yeah, Cy, you got it. Cy, so it's so cool. quick. Cy, to you've got um, to get from Dublin to Manchester is like half hour, I think it yeah. is in the, in, on the plane. It's no time at all. Um, and uh, Brick Skew <coughs> says, uh, I'm going to go Thursday. Uh, this, this Thursday? This Thursday? No, it's it's not not you'll, be, you'll be waiting a while for us, but you know, <laughs> yeah. you go yeah. ahead, Ollie. It won't be a blue you carpet. Keep the there, that's warm, for sure. mate. We'll be, we'll be about a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And he said polar bricks. He said uh, traveling home was good. He said he had a long way to go, but I suppose when he's displaying, if you've got the time off, then that kind of works as well. But I think uh, the only thing is, when everyone's gone, I think the kind of the spirit all goes as well. Did it feel really weird, Andy, when there was no one around? Um, because it, it, I don't know. It, I, I don't know if it would be the same vibe still. But then, of course, if you wanted to, I went up there early because I wanted to go and uh, just go and explore and lose myself around Manchester for a bit, which was. And really that's good why fun. I'd stay up mm -hmm. there to go and explore because I think I did the traffic centre with Dan when I arrived on the Friday, um, yeah. but we didn't get to do like you don't get to do some of the other bits around. Like I didn't go to Arndale this year to see the Manchester Lego store. So there were things that I think if I was up there again, I would go for longer so I could do those. Yeah. And that was one at of the my own pace, like not in a lunch break or anything mm -hmm. like spend proper time. Yeah. Again. Yeah. No, I loved it. That's why I went up there. I, got, I literally got there, unpacked my stuff, got my coffee straight to the Lego store. Um, uh, KO's out there. He says uh, their boat service from Dublin uh, to Manchester. Uh, there might be. Um, it's, it's, uh, yeah, possibly. Be a bit slow, though. Uh, what day is it next year? Uh, same sort of date, 22nd, 23rd or something like that. I think yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. normally yeah. the last weekend in February. <coughs> or No, I think it's the second to last. Second, second to last. weekend yeah. in yeah. half term, yeah. it normally yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. I want to say 20... uh, 20, oh, 21st, 21st, 21st. Yeah, 22nd and yeah, 23rd. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Which is nice for us because the week before is half term, which means that we should be able to go up <laughs> on the Thursday. Whereas Jeez. this year, our half term didn't line up. And so therefore, we could only go up on the Friday. And then if we're really lucky, we might get an inset day on the Monday, in which case we can come back on the Monday as well. <laughs> but, nice. but we won't find that out for a while. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but we, we won't find out for a while. But I, I, and I think it's quite a few weeks. We're, we're talking like nearly two months away, folks, from being able to even book the hotels up there. It might be able to do Airbnbs and all that sort of thing. Uh, but the Premier Inn uh, is where it's all at uh, when we was yeah. up there. Um, yeah. It was good. It was, and it was on the doorstep as well, like literally. Yeah. I was five minutes at the door, away. cross the road. Don't get hit by the tram. <clears throat> and you're there. <laughs> Yeah, you got to watch the tram. So they're pretty, pretty big, to be fair, though. Uh, but uh, if you're not, it was good to... for the car parking as well, though, wasn't it? Because you know you could just leave your stuff there all day and then go and get it when you could check in and stuff. So everything's quite close knit together, which yeah. is kind of quite cool about it. Um, Brick says, uh, "I like 
that uh, what people mean by seeing Manchester is actually uh, going to the Lego yeah. store. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, I just, I just walked around all over it. But yeah. You, you got, don't you... plan your trips around Lego stores? Yeah. It's <laughs> <a bit>. <laughs> <laughs> he likes Lego, I think, Ollie. Uh, <laughs> KO saying, uh, I was uh, I was planning to do some pub shopping, but couldn't escape. Um, Lego store yeah, was so very busy, Simon. I'm um, glad I went though. Yeah, go on Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's dead as a door now up there, folks, especially late in the day. But they like working late up north. That's a strange thing, I tell you. Nothing closes in London till about 10 o'clock in the evening. Up there is about five. It's like, <laughs> what? We talk about it's going to close. Nothing closes, does it? Uh, they do up there though. So just be aware of that. Uh, a bit of trip advice there. Trevor's videos, uh, how much quieter on a, on a Friday? Uh, see, yeah, so he doesn't like to see, he doesn't like fish or anything like that. Uh, I booked the premier in already. Probably you can't book the premier in already. I've already, uh, I've already contacted the management. Uh, I don't think you could. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what they told me anyway. Well, that's it. That's what you, Andy said an extra day, you see, so then he could. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah well, maybe you've been blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I am. Uh, it's called Manchester Central for a reason. It's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Pab and Bam prices uh, went went up today or oh, went up? Yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. all been on the horizon. That has. Uh, yeah, we knew. I mean, we knew it was coming, but it doesn't. Yeah. We hoped it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was all, inevitability, folks. Inevitability. Uh, what's he say? Uh, no one had any uh, money up. Also, so, so they close, level up, level up, and all that. <laughs> I suppose so. I don't know. What happened to the uh, the North? Uh, what do they call it? The Power Power North or something or other. But anyway, uh, anything good, Polar? Uh, and uh, Polar is saying uh, books online. Uh, Polar, you can't book it online though. It's not available yet. Um, Polar, uh, get in touch with me. Let me know who you've booked that through because I know Booking dot com doesn't work with them. If you've done it through that, so do be aware of that, folks. You have to go direct to Premier Inn. Uh, but anyway, so I'm saying uh, mm -hmm. Emily Sykes, Lego Store, and Discovery Store. Yeah, that's up there. Uh, oh, yeah, oh my god, price rise, and that's it, folks. <laughs> Try and go down the lug bolt uh route uh, this year if you want to get yourself plenty of Lego. Uh, a polar, a polar saying direct, that's bizarre. I'm pretty sure you can't book it direct yet. In fact, I know for a fact you can't, so I'm being tricked to know. Can you? Loads of people have been yeah. saying that they've booked, yeah, it yeah it's so looking, looking on my phone, that the latest date that you can book at the moment is the 25th of january yeah 25th of jan that, that is no, you can't you i've can't. just i've just done it yeah and maybe just online but maybe, <laughs> yeah, Hold on, so have you have online. you done it online Jake? Stu, did you i know i just saw that do you know what i've <laughs> never used it i've used the fax machine <laughs> once in my life otherwise i've never used it uh, Jake, well, uh, Jake, you're going to let me. No, I was I literally Just phoned to the website today. like a normal human being. Who rings? Uh, who the hell rings a hotel to book a room? They, right. No, because you can't book it. Uh, you can't. Just... I've, li I've literally just done it. <laughs> Ian just oh, said oh, you oh. can't do it. Yeah, but uh, he's, so try our website as opposed to a mobile. Okay. All right. Well, we'll who, who, call, who calls anyone to do anything anymore? Is this no, the 1990s? What the hell is happening? Uh, you can check, so do, you, could, do you still go to a travel agent to book your, your flights, etc.? I don't. I well, don't. there you go. <laughs> well, he doesn't do the butler does. Uh, yeah. That's true. Uh, there you go. This is a, you know, um, but Ian, uh, yeah, if you so you could, you could book it directly. So I don't know. Uh, Paul is checking his uh, checking his dates now. He is, uh, and uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe updates later. I tell you what, Blackberry was quite cool back in the day. Uh, and Tech saying he's booked his. I even right well, straight after this, folks, we will have to get booking uh, then, I suppose. But uh, Jake's booked his. Uh, Jake, I hope you did get a flexi room. Uh, but yeah, honestly, they they reckon that you cannot book them, and uh, maybe it's just because I went through Google or, earlier on or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, but, you can anyway. totally book them, Greg. Okay. <laughs> we're all, all right. we're all booked, should we see? Oh, there we go. Well, yeah, sorry, they said they sold out of rooms. Now you were too slow. Yeah. <laughs> no, never too slow, Mark. They're showing enough money for something that you'll be able to get it. Don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's simple. Wow. Yeah, guys, have just you, have gets you the cash out and they're like, sorry, we no, only take cards. There's always sorry. But, 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 you could always share with someone else. Uh, guys, uh, <laughs> there was you, nothing wrong with have you, <laughs> I never said there was. Um, guys, did you, uh, have you booked yours yet? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. No. 
<laughs> anyway, well, at least we know now. Thanks for that, Pony. You talk about throwing a grenade in there, Andy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, must be grenade and run. Be that's available yet, Greg. No, it's not that. I just want to. Uh, that's quite. I actually thought the the Premier Inn actually was okay. I didn't try any of the food there. Did anyone actually have any of the meals? Uh, I breakfast. Uh, I think had breakfast there. It's fine. It's, it's yeah. a, just a standard like like buffet mm. breakfast it's nothing i, like I heard it was variable one day was good one was, day was not yeah. so good i had oh, yeah. good food on both days they didn't have any nothing danish when i went there. i was quite annoyed i like yeah. taking a croissant no <laughs> there were loads of danish That's there it. they're called the zero Lego stars <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and just as well, I didn't try eating them. Then I suppose. <laughs> Are the Premier Inn rooms expensive? I think... Munch on a Danish. Get off me! <laughs> how much? How much is a Premier Inn room uh, normally? Then uh, I take them. As it varies from place to place, it's... and when you're staying, and yeah, all these Saturday night, points. isn't it? Saturday night is like literally double the price on a Saturday night. It is. It's in the centre of Manchester, so you are going to pay a little bit more than you would. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. So uh, you are getting a prime location. Yeah, the penthouse, the penthouse is gone apparently. Anyway, uh, they 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 let me book the penthouse anyway. <laughs> there's always <laughs> more than one. Uh, there's always two. Uh, take care, go. Okay, we had to off. move rooms this year. Me and me and Connor, we had to move rooms. Ours had loads of mold in it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mum's all right. Mum's really quiet and everything like that. Uh, yeah, but yours also had two wings in it, mate. Let's be honest, it was huge. <laughs> Two yeah, but the, 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 you did nice. get free breakfast you, out of it though as well. You put though, so. you put your yeah. you put your bags on the west side and you just kind yeah. of like you know chill out on the east side. You know, it's very nice. It really is. Anyway, on that <laughs> bombshell, or straight after this stream, everyone's going to be booking for next year. They are. Uh, but anyway, let's go around the panel and see what everybody's up to, shall we? At least we know we we could do it anyway. Um, but yeah, te text right. It's about hundred pounds. You, if you if you do it for hundred pounds a night, you're pretty much uh, pretty much on the ball. There you are. Um, and uh, oh, apparently, uh, Cranky Bricks yeah, and yeah. Sense Build uh, said that said that to Jake. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, very very cool. Um, and uh, Andy saying tech that wasn't the penthouse uh, you had this year. Um, I, but yeah. It was not the penthouse. <laughs> Trust us, it was not the penthouse. Was it not? Oh no! Oh, okay. When you get when you get like half a dozen people in a room to do a parts draft. You can tell it ain't a penthouse. A oh, what <laughs> draft? What? Oh yeah, a parts draft. If you not a parts draft, no. What the hell? So so okay. Quick rundown of a parts draft <laughs> is essentially you everyone clubs together and buys a copy of a set, but rather than have the set, instead you piece it all out, and then you all take turns in selecting what piece of that set and instead of getting just the one piece you get everyone's version of that piece so essentially you, you your partner set out and then you go round in a round robin and pick one part each it's this it's like a almost like a raffle like you, you just go round, mm -hmm. pick what you want and well, take how it do you turns. decide which 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 set you're gonna you're gonna do so you decide beforehand so you you try and find a set that's um a good price and has good pieces and then you all agree on it. Then you then you all buy one of those sets. And instead of buying the set and using the set, you piece it all out. Mm. It's really yeah. good. Like I highly recommend it. If yeah. you've got loads of people and you all want pieces in the set, or you're just looking for bulk loads of pieces, it's a great way to do it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, to be honest, Jake, I, I hadn't even heard the term up until a few weeks ago. I, 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 I managed I, I, to get here. We are. So I managed to get all these sticker sheets. Oh yeah. So we did the Indiana Cheap Jones set. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. So I was just That's like, a yeah, That's a great I'm pick happy. actually, because no, everyone hates stickers. That's a real good pick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I was like, as I were going through, I was like, don't pick the stickers, don't pick the stickers, don't pick the stickers. I love those, please. Yeah, like, yeah. I love scam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, it's I good. knew it. I knew as soon as I picked That's them, I knew that Gaz would be like you. Mm. Yeah, nice. cheeky, cheeky. Yeah, guess <laughs> those. Um, but anyway, let's go around the panel. Let's find out what people are up to in the next week or so. Um, and Tech is replying to Simon, uh, saying, "I'll try and get that sorted uh, this weekend, Simon." Yeah, we got to finish it off. That's what that's about. We we oh, yeah. we had to cut it short for the the meal. Yeah, yeah. No, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, there was a, there was a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Jake, are you going to be streaming uh, over the course of the weekend, mate? Yeah, I'll be streaming at some point. I don't know when, but I'll be streaming at some point this weekend. Do I know what I'm going to be streaming? No. But I, I, I'll be doing it, sure. I might be playing a video game, might be maybe sorting. I've got a lot of sorting to do. Um, 
might be rebuilding mm. the mock that ended up in the. This is this is the uh, how <laughs> I traveled with my mock, and oh, every time what? I look at this tote bag, it gets considerably more compact. So I don't think my mock has survived very well on the way oh, home. He made, he made it up there. Did, did, yeah, was yeah, the journey yeah. okay? Was the journey okay with it or right. everything yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's just every time you move it, something something shifted and crumbled, and it was like, oh, okay, I'll have to rebuild that at some point. Oh, yeah, I think I think a few quite a few people got in touch with me and said their stuff didn't all make it. Um, I looks, like a, yeah. Movie build it. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, uh, what about you, Brick Bods? I mean, you you was you were taking you brought up quite a lot of stuff. We had a car for yeah. Um, it all seemed to make it back to Sam's house okay and our house okay. So yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, good but stuff. Back under the back under the desk. We've even put it right away. Yeah. yeah, I'd be it'd be good to when they see all those mocks again and stuff like that. They never they're always slightly different. Let's face it, when and, uh, and quite rightly so. Um, so Jake's uh, Jake's going to be doing some stuff over the weekend, folks. Doesn't know what yep. or when yet, but it will raid be training on a Tuesday as normal. Good stuff. All right, that's fine. Uh, who do you raid into uh, from your from your stream? Um, I raid on into normally shipwreck bricks. On, okay. on Twitch, who is a fantastic streamer from uh, the middle of America. He uh, does a lot of mocking, does a lot of... He, he's normally got like three or four things going on at one point that he's building, yeah. uh, but he also does a lot of toy photography as well. Um, so he does a lot of like setting things up and showing like the process of like editing yeah. photos and whatnot of the sets he's built and building scenes and whatnot for them. Really cool. What was his name again? Shipwreck Bricks, you say? Shipwreck Bricks. Shipwreck Bricks. Good stuff. Uh, sounds good. Uh, the survey uh, tonight, folks, just before we get to Monarch, uh, it's, uh, it's basically to say, and it's March the 1st. Did you buy any Lego today? Nope. Uh, saving the pennies, says 43%. Yes, 38%. And still thinking about it, 17%. 101 Ooh. people voted on that. So thank you very much for that. Really appreciated that. Uh, Minak, are you going to be doing any streams this weekend? You normally do, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping Twitch. so on Sunday to do my Twitch stream 2 p.m. GMT, um, and just chill out, hang out, and build some Lego. That's my plan, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, and what about you guys? Uh, are you going to be doing your thing with Ollie on Thursday? Uh, Is that happening? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, Mock Heads, uh, eight o'clock on Wednesday. And uh, we'll have a different guest again. So this week it should be uh, tech as well. So we'll be discussing Excellent. all things mock. Yeah. Oh, blimey, yeah. Yeah. Plenty to talk about that. So it's it's going to be yeah. a good discussion. I would have thought, yeah, yeah. As, as you could talk about transportation and things like that. It was pretty epic, uh, their one. And it worked. It worked yeah. really well. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, yeah talking of awesome uh, things, uh, Carrie and Ian. Uh, are you guys going to be up to anything uh, anything this weekend? You're going to be doing we're gonna be, we're going to be up to something. I don't know what we haven't really thought about what we're planning, but we missed streaming last week because we were coming back from Bricktastic. So I'm excited to stream. <laughs> um, we're also going to a Lego show tomorrow, I think. Yeah, just to um, look around, we'll take the girls with us. Yeah, it's in Portchester. So if anyone's in the local area, Portchester has a Lego show, and we'll be there. Oh, yes. Porchester. <laughs> I've never even heard of it. Uh, uh, yeah. oh, it's called the Hampshire. Hang on, it was on my phone a second ago. Hampshire, um, hang on, it was on my phone a minute ago. That's no, no, it's called Hampshire Brick Event South Coast. So if you look uh, that up, you might find it. Okay, on the south coast it is. Then it's the place to be no, tomorrow. Um, <laughs> is, is that like a little, a little, ta little small one in a? Yeah, in a it's, it's not. Like well, the, it's the one that. Um, We've been to before, but it's mainly a selling event. But this is a displaying event as well. So yeah, so um, the venue. people who organise it do two events a year. So yeah, they do one which is main. They have a few mocks, but it is mainly selling. Um, it's in like a small community, community hall, center. Yeah, community center. This thing. one's this is a bigger event. Yes, yeah, so this one's bigger. But it's our first time going. Hopefully, it'll be good. Yeah. We were talking about whether we'd display, but after. Fantastic! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you got to take a bit of downtime after it, because um, it was a, it was a phenomenal thing, and yeah, uh, we had a good time and everything like that. And it was it was it, it it's it's not just about going up there, folks, and just 
you know displaying stuff and people coming around it's the social aspect of it as well yeah. and it was yeah, a real social aspect on it uh maybe next year we'll uh, uh arrange some uh, nights out and stuff like that if people want to i know other people were doing stuff as well so you're gonna have to make sure you invite everybody greg this time that's it well there was other people that were doing stuff as well uh, in the in their own groups mark so you know yeah. it was just a case of going with the flow uh yeah. the maybe way. we'll maybe we'll put out something ahead of time yeah. make sure yeah. that we will I mean, everybody is always welcome everyone that's always it. the case. I mean, we, um, we assumed we, that Jake would be hanging out with the young I'm ones. I'm so lonely. <laughs> 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 Oh. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can never mute Jake. You can never mute him. Um, but yeah, you was up, you was up there with Connor though, uh, as well. So I'm pissing about. It's fine. I know. I know. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know, it's just the way it goes. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Brickbots, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Mini Fiku, good to see you as well. Jake, lovely to see you as well. Mark, good to see you as well. Oh, I've just lost the light. Um, and thank you everybody else for joining me as well. Tomorrow at 5 okay. p.m., my Bricktastic vlog, my little bit, uh, will be coming out as well. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a vlog, and uh, I quite enjoy doing it actually. So hopefully there'll be a few more coming from me too in the near future um otherwise i just want to say thank you for for the panel being on tonight thank you as well for stuart for joining us from the lego house uh and of yeah, course uh all you lovely lot out there as well for being here tonight uh the likes of of course uh for trevor's videos and not forgetting as well folks next week We'll have a members giveaway as well. Uh, David Cartledge was out there as well from Box Magazine, Echo Bricks, Emily Sykes, Polar Bricks was out there, Sally Escape, Stubot was out there as well. Uh, him, his Blackberry, and his uh, fat shenanigans. Macro, thank you so much uh, for the uh, uh, for the super chat earlier on as well. Love to see Sai O'Connor and of course Lorraine out there too. Planet Tech was there too, and of course not that Sam Smith. And of course, I want to say a special thank you as well. For one brick stud for the awesome question from the pmq tonight so if you take one thing away from this stream <clears> folks <throat> take two things away actually bricktastic 2025 you can book the hotel room and it will be <laughs> well <laughs> worth the effort it really will be and also as well just remember that lego lego, lego. is a wonderful thing <laughs> and each and every one of you are too take care and you never know i might see you over the weekend Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.